I got a real cup today instead of a plastic cup. I'm kind of like a grown-up adult right now. I'm kind of built different currently. So far, all I ever use for cups are these plastic ones. Or these stolen Buffalo Wild Wings cups. But this is a, a real original purchased with money cup. Not it is still plastic, but it's not disposable. Thief. Well, I didn't steal it, so <laughs> I I I'll just clear the air right now. I did not steal that cup. That was Jimmy's doing. Jimmy's the fucking thief, not me. I this uh this came with living with Jimmy, his stolen goods. So Staffy violated the law. <laughs> Imagine stealing a cup from Buffalo Wild Wings and the fucking town guard sprints across the city to you. <laughs> Damn, just ratted her husband out of trad wife and take the blame. <laughs> That's probably true. Unfortunately, I'm not much of a, a trad wife. What was it the hacks the hacks once posted this meme that was like Jimmy wanted a trad wife but instead he got a tarred wife or something. <laughs> I mean it might be true. Jimmy gonna get himself kicked out of the Mage's Guild? He might. That's why I can't steal in real life or in game. I need to stay in the Mage Guild. This is important. Oh <sighs> but anyway. Let's Let's join the mage guild once and for all, for real. Let me, let me get my little mage quest here. Where'd everyone go? This place was... <laughs> this place was popping a second ago and everyone left? I gotta, I gotta track everyone down. Oh! She looks annoyed that a I woke her up. pleasure to speak with you. She doesn't mean that. Um, uh, I don't know who to- who okay. to talk to for my recommendation. Okay, yeah, I think they're usually wearing, like, this blue outfit. Well met. When they're the- the leader. Nope, never mind, I'm wrong, I'm wrong. You too. Looking for someone that says recommendation. She looks fancy. What can I do for you? Never mind, not fancy you enough. You. I feel like she doesn't look I fancy. Can... She cannot- yeah, it's not her. Who the fuck is in charge? <laughs> I have the hardest time finding who's in charge. It's gotta be her. I don't suppose you could help me locate my friend Henantir, could you? Um... I can't, for a recommendation, so I can't. Are you eager to begin? Very well. We can start if you feel you are ready. I'm ready. I guess I'm ready. I'm afraid I haven't had time to prepare anything conventional. I'm very preoccupied with this situation concerning Ardalyn. Perhaps you can help with that, however. I can't directly get involved for fear of embarrassing the poor girl. I'll need you to have a little <laughs> chat with Varen Vamori, and Varen you can learn Vamori. something about the power of illusion in the process. Still ignoring the Argonian. <laughs> yeah. Terrible habit of mine. I gotta, gotta break my bias towards Argonians. You know what's interesting in Skyrim? I feel like there are very few Argonians in, in Skyrim. I I didn't get to interact with many of them at all. Barely ever saw them, to be honest. And hey, Action Bastard, thanks for the 66 months! Thank you, thank you, thank you! That's such a long time. That's a long fucking time. She says everyone looks fancy, then she talks to the Argonian. No fancy comment. <laughs> uh, it's something about the green dress. The green dress just doesn't look super fancy to me. I don't know. I don't understand it. Some ridiculous male thing, I suppose. He's been bothering Ardeline every day for a while now. He even stole her mage's staff. We gotta kill him. Perhaps he thinks it's amusing. He stole a know. staff, we gotta kill him. But it needs to stop. <laughs> It's making her miserable. Sounds like the guy's trying to flirt with her. Apparently this guy's bothering this lady in the in the guild. I think he's just flirting with her. Skyrim's a tad cold for Argonians. That I that's a good point. Please, 
I'm in desperate need of like, help. They do like warm air. You are the warm, warm environments. All right. Gotta find someone named Varman. Or Vim. I already forgot his name. Start with a V. Green skin, the green dress. <laughs> it is the dress. I promise. Sleep with them. I don't. I don't know if it lets me actually like lay down to sleep with them, but definitely. Um, I have slept in game and woke up with someone next to me in the bed, without without asking. Kind of creepy. So where the heck is this varmin guy supposed to be? Is he outside? No, it sounds like he's up here. I'm following the compass right now on my map. Very closely. Oh, I think I'm not done talking to her, I guess. I don't suppose you could help me locate my friend Henantir, could you? I guess I could do that too, but I'm trying to get my recommendation. Oh, I didn't go through all the options. It's more symbolic than practical, but each carries great significance to its owner. You're going to get Arteline's staff back. Take this oh, charm okay. scroll. With it, you should find Varon more receptive to questioning. A charm don't scroll? I don't even know how to use scrolls staff. in this game. I've been selling all my scrolls because I don't know how to use that. <laughs> We gotta find this Varen guy. Make sure Varen hands over that staff. Uh. All right, let's head out. I take the prairie dogs outside today. Like, like outside outdoors? No, they they don't go outdoors. They go outside, like out of their cage, because they they live in a cage. It's a gigantic cage, but still, it's a cage. So we try and take them out for a couple hours every day. We tried to give the prairie dogs um, sweet potato today as a little treat. And Grubby ate a bunch of it and Larry wouldn't even try it. I think Larry doesn't like the color orange or something. <laughs> so I tried giving him baby carrots before and he doesn't he didn't want to eat them either. I think he's just not a fan of orange. I gotta find there's like there's like a teeny tiny handful of things you can give prairie dogs as a treat because they have super sensitive stomachs. Their stomachs are pretty much built just to eat hay and not really anything else. So they're not, they're just not supposed to eat anything else except for on occasion, like a really rare occasion. Um, and even then it's really limited what they can have. So like sweet potatoes, baby carrots, stuff like that is allowed in small quantities sometimes. And he doesn't like, he won't even try either of them. So I need to try a different colored vegetable. I think they can have zucchini also, but I don't like zucchini, so I don't want to buy them, but I will just for Larry. See if he'll eat something that's not orange. Hi, Wholesome. Ooh, 4.20 a.m., good time. Have I nibbled on the hay? I have not tried the hay. <laughs> I bet it would feel good. I like crunchy foods. Big fan of crunchy foods, so I bet I would love hay if my stomach could, um, you know, digest it. Dude, if our- if my stomach could digest, like, grass and shit, I'd be outside grazing. I wouldn't eat real food anymore, I would just graze. I'd eat real food as a snack, like, for the flavor, but for, like, actual nutrients, I would be out there grazing all the time. I feel like life would be so chill if you could graze instead of having to eat actual food all the time. Alright, where is this vamin guy, or varmin? I can't find him. Just following my my compass. Maybe he's at the bar. Is him? <gasps> That's him. Can I help you? I seems kind of innocent. Farmers eat hay in cartoons. Yes, I, I think they sort just of know her. Well, well I mean, I don't really it. know her, but I've talked to her some. Hmm. I have to shadow know. hide you. I have to figure out how to use this, this scroll. First time using a scroll. Charm 
for 20 seconds. Hello, friend. What can I do for you? And now he loves me. Um, uh, tell me about I don't this lady. Know what to say. All I want is for her to care about me, to feel the same way as I do about her. But she doesn't. I try and I try, and it just doesn't matter. It makes me furious sometimes. That's so sad. Gotta give her staff right. back, though. I admit it. I took it from her. Why did he become so green? Because he loves me? I don't me? know what I was thinking, honestly. That's what happens when someone's in love. I was trying to tell her how I feel. Again. And she wouldn't even stop to talk to me. I just got so angry. I was a little ashamed afterwards. But I didn't know how to apologize or give it back. Damn, the girl didn't like him, I so she took, he took her fucking staff? I'm afraid I don't have it anymore, you see. I... And then I he sold, sold it? it. <laughs> to a friend of mine. Saurus Aranum. Oh man, that is, <laughs> that is kind of insult energy. I feel bad saying he that. He lives but in the Talos Plaza district of the Imperial City. It's not city. how you deal with your feelings for a girl. He's orderly in staff now. But he lives in the Imperial City? He's so far away. If I still had it, I'd gladly give it back. You'll have to talk to Saurus Aranum if you want it. Oh, what the fuck? I don't know much about that ghost, but some that say ghost? he died in a horrible shipwreck. I would stay away from him if I were you. Bad omen. Each night, he wanders the shore of Nibbin Bay. Then he stops and looks mournfully out to sea. If you're interested, you may want to see Gil Hey, Bonner I know exactly the spot he's talking about. Home on the water. When it comes uh, to local legends, He's the best This is unrelated to my Mage Guild quest entirely, but, um... He's talking about some ghost that wanders the streets. Or not the streets. I think when, when I was on my way to Leowin, I saw that ship- I saw a shipwreck, and you, you couldn't, like, enter the boat or anything, so I was like, oh, kind of useless, I guess. But that's gotta be where the ghost wanders. Hi, Mason. Tell Ardeline I'm sorry. I'll tell her. No oh, bad. He, he seems like a nice guy. I actually don't think he's a bad guy. I think he just, you know, I think he just made a mistake. It's not cool of him to take your staff, but... And then fucking sell it. That's even worse. That's ten times worse, but... <laughs> um... It's how they he, he seems remorseful. No. He seems remorseful now. <laughs> We must go to the Imperial City. Or... No, I guess I should probably talk to... The Mage Guild lady first. Seems remorseful after you magically charmed him. Any luck that talking with Varen is true. You're it right. No trouble at I all forgot that I even did that. that. <laughs> Varen Vamori should... Uh... He sold it, huh? Well, this just He's only sorry he got caught. Worse. Very well. I presume he gave you some indication of where the staff is now located. Take these and go resolve the situation. She and of course, me? please keep this just between us. Her voice just got so much louder. It's like she was whispering in my ear. Oh, she gave me more scrolls. I could just start charming everyone. Get that staff back, associate. Good morning. Mm, who do I want to fall in love with me in this game? I don't even- I don't think I even have, like, a favorite character yet. A lot of the characters I've met in-game, you know, people in this- <laughs> I don't know what it is about Cyrodo, but people are pretty fucking mean in this place. I pretty much get told to fuck off and not talk to people almost every time I interact with anyone. So it's been it's been hard to form like a strong emotional connection with anyone at all. Martin, obviously. I don't know. I feel I feel pretty neutral on Martin. The most kind one in this game is Tamika from the winery. Let's hear it. I remember her. She was very beautiful. That's what I remember about her. Um.
All right. Oh, you know what? Let's let's walk to the Imperial City. I want to check out Hersine Shrine on the way. Let's let's walk there. Take a nice little little trip. Yeah, got a little blessing from a statue. Can you spare a coin? If I lived in a place like this, I suspect everyone that talked to me. <laughs> like, they wanted to steal my shit, too. I don't think he can just assume that everyone's, like, a thief or something. Hey, what's up, Deacon? Alright, Hurston Shrine is right there. I also, I don't know too much about her scene just yet, either. I think the only thing I know about her scene is, um, that Shiogorath beat him. In one of the books in Skyrim, there's a little story about how they had, like, a bet with each other who could make the strongest monster or something like that, and, and her scene made, like, a big, giant, like, golem-type thing, or golem, however you say it. And then Shuogorath just had like a tiny little bird that fucking beat his ass. And I think that's a very silly story. It's a very funny story. Shuogorath stay winning. It's been a few days since you're dull. Are you wanted in all cities yet? Hi, Rick. Um, definitely not wanted in all cities. I've been, I've been arrested in a lot of them, but I've, I've done the time. I paid for my crimes. All all has been resolved. Shio being Shio, absolute gem that guy. Yeah, I like Shio Gorath. I I think he's a really interesting fellow. Got arrested in Bruma for a crime in another city. Yep, it's not fucking right. Can't like, what jurisdiction do they have for crimes committed somewhere else? Just doesn't make any fucking sense to me. What the fuck? Hey, Val, do you have pizza? Picking it up. Damn. Oh, I'm over encumbered? Why? What the fuck do I have? Oh, I forgot I got new armor yesterday. It looks clean, but damn, it's heavy. I have too many potions also. That's a big thing. Too many potions. And too many ingredients. I, I have to use some of my heavy ingredients real quick. These claws are fucking heavy. There we go. No, we're all good. Armor makes you look like a furry? What? What do you mean? There's not a single ounce of fur on, on this armor. It's all metal. <laughs> Any minotaur horns you have? I have probably quite a few. Those are quite heavy. Oh yeah, oh, five pounds! Yep, those are heavy as fuck. We gotta use those right now. I don't even know what to use them with. Not that. Not that either. Fine, I guess. There we go. Oh, I got 20 pounds of room. Saw a furry today was scary. <laughs> what was the context? <laughs> I remember, um, 
Oh, another fucking guitar. There's so many of them. <laughs> In a mirror. <laughs> I remember one time, like, I don't even know how many years ago, probably like four years ago, I think. Um, my friend and I were, were playing VR chat and we were, we were planning on like going to some of the furry servers on VR chat and kind of just like fucking around and like messing with people and stuff. Um, not like in a, I don't know, our intentions weren't like super mean, but I guess in hindsight they probably were not very nice either. Um, because we were intending to like mess with people a little bit. Uh, and when we went on to the servers, we like met this guy that was a furry and we were just talking to him to, I don't know, I guess just see like what funny situations could come from it. Yeah, we wanted to be a nuisance, not not like straight up mean or anything like that. We just wanted to, we just wanted to fuck around and be a little, a little wacky. Um, but we met this guy and we we're like, oh yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna like mess with him a little bit. And we started talking to him and he ended up being like one of the kindest people that we've ever spoken to, uh, especially on VR chat. I, I haven't played VR chat in like a couple of years now, but when I used to play, people, especially to me, because I have a very high pitched voice, a lot of the time people don't even think I'm a girl. They think I'm a straight up just little kid. That's also, I use like really stupid avatars on VR chat. Like I never use hot anime girls as my avatar. I always use something stupid, like a little, my favorite avatar in VR chat is like a little celery. It's like a little celery with arms and legs. It's stupid. It's, it, that's exactly why everyone thinks I'm a kid. Like, it makes sense. I understand why. But still, people judge me a lot. Because they think I'm a little kid and they don't want to talk to me. I get blocked instantly, so often. People block me instantly before I even get the chance to talk to them on VR chat because they think I'm a kid. Um, but anyway, this, this like one furry guy, he was so kind to us. He, you know, he didn't insta-block me. He talked to both of us, engaged with us, and ended up being just like the nicest guy. And after that happened, me and my friend were like, holy shit, we're kind of assholes. Like, we're kind of terrible people for our intention was to, you know, just kind of mess with some furries. And then the one person we meet ends up being the kindest person we've spoken to on VR chat. And after that, I don't think we ever, <laughs> I don't think we ever went back on a furry server because we were like, there's, there's no reason to mess with these people. They're, they're nice people. It really it changed my outlook a little bit. Not that I was like not expecting furries to be nice people or anything like that, but I don't know. I think I expected them to be like a little bit wackier. I was being like judgmental. Um, so I didn't know any, so. I, I don't know, it's just one of those eye-opening experiences, you know, where you're like, wow, these are, these are actually extremely normal people. <laughs> I had the fully wrong idea entirely. I'm sure there's weird people, though, in every single community. I'm sure there's people that play... <laughs> I was gonna say people play RuneScape that are probably really fucking weird. I I know for a fact there are. <laughs> I don't even have to speculate. It's every group of people are just weird people. Oops. Um, am I still on the main quest? Um, I'm doing the Mages Guild quest right now. Oh, I really hope that big guy does not see me. I'm doing Mage's Guild right now. I put the main storyline kind of on pause because I don't want to. I don't want to finish the main storyline too quickly, like I did on Skyrim. Um, haven't been able to catch the Oblivion streams. Have you done any DLC? Uh, I found out the other day that one of the quests I've been doing is a DLC quest. I didn't know that it was. Oh, I'm. I went the wrong way. I'm trying to find her scene shine. Uh, the the pilgrimage pilgrimage quest I've been doing is actually a DLC. I thought it was like a main kind of main quest. So I guess I, I have done a little bit of DLC. Hey.
But not too much. I haven't finished that quest or anything, but I've been slowly working towards it. Are people to flood 2024? <laughs> it was just, you know, it was just one of those formative experiences where you interact with someone really different from you that you didn't think you'd get along with. Um, but you know, end up being really normal. Like everyone has an experience like that. I've just been really antisocial my whole life, so <laughs> I had my experience like that very late in life. Well, very late in my life so far. Give me a little bit to catch on, I guess. Furries are so creepy as hell. Dude, you gotta hop on VR chat. Talk to talk to one of the nice and normal ones. There, there's a lot of very, very nice normal ones. Change your, change your perspective. <laughs> this game is ancient. This game is actually pretty old. Oh my fucking god, not a bear. Oh my god, the bears fuck me up more than the aliens do. Day this game was a big deal. I feel like it should still be a big deal. It holds up really well. I have no nostalgia for this game or any Elder Scrolls games. I never played any of them as a kid. And I think they're incredible. I think they aged super well. Bad though. Uh, oh. 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 Can't even use my shield against the bear effectively. Good question. I don't remember. <laughs> I'll have to check. Oh no, the body! Well, no loot for me. That's a great question. I have no idea if I did. Oh, I didn't cure my disease! Oh man. I totally thought I did. I remember explicitly saying like, oh yeah, we're gonna go back to the town and pray. Cure my disease. Never fucking did it. Wow. Just walking out here diseased. <laughs> Can't believe we're still using the shitty Dramora summon. It's not shitty. He's a fucking beast. I should try my other one. I did get a new summon that I haven't tried yet. I should... Well, try it later. Probably have to try it once I'm no longer diseased. I need to repair my armor also. I feel like my only gripe with this game is how often you have to repair your armor. Like, I feel like it's a little bit too much. Too often. And there's no, like, repair all button. I just have to sit here and spam click, which is kind of annoying. It's more than kind of annoying. All 
Alright, I'm trying to find the altar, the statue of her scene or whatever, the altar. Oh, it's another bear. Hey, let's try my, my spider summon, though. I have enough magic this time. <gasps> the bear's stuck! Where's my summon? There she is. She is so beautiful. She's so beautiful, so hardworking. Look at her go. Oh, she does not stay stay for long though. She disappears really, really fast. What's up, great sage fist? Is this really Skyrim's predecessor? This game came out before Skyrim, if if um that's what if that's what you're asking. I might have misunderstood. Wow, look at his statue! He's got a um a wolf. Also, he's got a fucking minotaur head or a deer head? A goat head? That's not a goat. I'm stupid. I think that's a deer. Or a... Uh, something. <laughs> it was dripped out for real. I gotta take a picture. Yeah, this is a, this is a statue of Hercene. Never been here before. Never even seen what her, see her scene looks like. I almost called him Hershey. This ground is sacred. Show respect. I am being respectful. Maybe maybe it's no pictures you allowed. Found this place. <laughs> now you must find your way within. Never found him on Skyrim? No, I never did. I never I never learned much about her scene except for his little little Pokemon battle with Shiogorath. That's like the only thing you I know about him. The shrine of her scene. Are you hunter or are you prey? Hmm. I guess I'm hunter. I feel like that's what they want you to say. I feel like I'm more like prey. Just like deep down, I feel like a prey animal, but <laughs> I'm gonna tell him hunter. Do you think yourself a hunter? Then approach the shrine of her scene. Leave our lord an offering. Leave an offering of the pelt of a bear. Or the pelt of a wolf. Oh, I have that. And her scene may find you worthy. <gasps> or perhaps you will learn what it is to be the hunted. We threaten no one. Why can't they just leave us alone? 100% praise. That why you like rodents so much. I think that is part of why I like rodents so much. It's like I want to take care of all the prey animals. Or I think I do have a bear pelt. The wrong tab. Okay, I have a wolf pelt. I just killed a bear. Hold on, we gotta find the body real quick. I just killed a bear. I think its body like rolled down the hill or something. I wanna leave the right offering. I think a bear pelt is gonna be worth more than a, a wolf pelt to the shrine. Where did I kill that bear? Y'all see a body anywhere? I don't- I have no idea where- wait, that's a log. It's getting dark, I can't fucking see. And hey, uh, Hobbit, thanks for the two months. Hobbit or Hubit? I don't know why, I feel like it's Hubit. Man, this grass is too tall, I can't see the bodies anywhere. Is that a body? Wait, that's a live bear. Okay, well, I guess, I mean, this works. That's a live bear and a, a person. Oh, it's a dead person. Dude, this guy's dead, but he's posted up looking chill as fuck. Why am I on fire? What's happening? What's up with that? Crazy ass bear. There we go. 
Dude, RIP to this guy, but honestly, I respect the... I respect that chill-ass way to die. I'm trying to take a screenshot of it, but it's not working! Man, why my screenshot button not working? Someone in the chat screenshot this <laughs> and send it to me. Oh, there you go. Got it. Never mind. All good. Got it. I thought it, sometimes my screenshot thing bugs out and I have to restart my game, but all is well. Can I take his pants? I mean, I can, but I don't want to. <laughs> I don't really have any interest in taking his pants. But I mean, yeah, the... It, physically, I can. Alright, where should I leave my offering? Oh. Bear pelt. Summoned my prey. The hare crouches before the fox's muzzle. Perhaps I shall task you, mortal. Sent you to hunt for my amusement. In Harkane Grove is a quarry worthy of the chase. First named last tamed. The unicorn yeah. runs wild there. Bring me this creature's own mortal, if you dare. Oh, I fucking dare. I fucking dare. Harkane Grove. I got you, Hersene. I'll do anything you want. Need another picture. I did you it. You have been graced with the presence of Hersene. Do not fail him, lest you be hunted for the rest of your days. It's a pretty big punishment for failing. <laughs> usually people people usually say things like, oh, it's okay to fail. And this guy's like, if you fail, uh, <laughs> you're basically going to be murdered. You're basically going to fucking die. <laughs> it's not very, <laughs> Do not test very comforting for me. I'll definitely do that. Let's finish my Mage Guild recommendation, then we'll immediately do Hercene's bidding. I'll hunt a unicorn. I have no problem with hunting unicorns. I'm not even particularly fond of unicorns to begin with. Killing a poor endangered species of unicorn, you're a monster. <laughs> hey man, a Daedric Lord tells you to do something, you should probably listen. Like you said, you're gonna be hunted for days if you don't. That's a pretty... That's a pretty big risk for not listening. Sometimes my game bugs out and takes 50 screenshots rapidly, each one making that sound effect. Oh man. <laughs> that would be unpleasant. I'm glad mine hasn't done that yet, but... I probably will at some point. Bye, Morsik. Enjoy Path of Exile. I've never played that game before. Um... What is this? Born in East LA? No one will get this reference. Yeah, I don't get the reference. <laughs> What's it a reference to? I'd like to... I'd like to brush up on my references, just get a good... Good pool of them. I grew up watching those movies with my dad, Big Pothead. What movies? I want to know the reference. If it's a movie though, I probably... Will not have seen it, and will probably never see it. I don't watch a lot of movies. You're not allowed to know? Okay. <laughs> I still have to watch every movie ever until I find the one. Cheech and Chong movie called Born in East LA. And I've seen the main characters in jail and someone tells her to take off his pants. Oh. I've heard of Cheech and Chong. 
Um, I feel like they've been referenced a lot in like songs, especially like a couple, couple years ago, like, well, many years ago, reference line music. I've never seen the movies though. I don't think I'm, other than like in music, like in songs, I don't think I've ever even heard of anyone talk about those movies. Done a lot of sitcom appearances and shit over the years. What is mm. it, you, today? you look like a bright one. Yes. Yeah. I, I like comedy shows, but not a lot of. Not many. Oh, I know there's an entrance there. Not many sitcoms, you I guess. My... A couple, though. Just don't watch Cheech and Schlong. <laughs> I'll be sure not to make that mistake. Do my best. Oh, I need to find the church and pray my disease away. Forgot about that. Which way would that be? District. Oh, temple. I think temple district is the right one. Since we're talking about movies, kind of, what's everyone's favorite movie of all time? Or like a top three or just something. I don't watch a lot of movies, but I'd like to watch more. At least a little bit. I want to watch that Dune movie everyone's talking about. I'm a little late, but I still want to watch it. Even though everyone's done talking about it, I think. The Thing, 1982. That's your favorite movie? <laughs> Why is that your favorite? I haven't seen it, but... Um... I mean, I know of it. I'm curious. Oh, you can't pray at this fucking church. How am I supposed to not be diseased anymore? Wait, actually, I have a spell for this. What am I doing? All right, disease cured, didn't even have to pray. My praying days are over. No more, no more religion. I mean, like movies no one else likes, like what? <laughs> what is it? Top three, Lord of the Rings, one, two, and three. <laughs> That's fair. Um. My favorite movie changes my mood, honestly. I just enjoy the act of watching movies. I wish I liked watching movies more. Conjuring up dead things. I have a hard time, like, I guess, just sitting through an entire movie by myself. If someone's watching with me, it's a lot easier. My favorite movie is Eternal Sunshine of a Spotless Mind. Saurus or Renum is the guy I'm looking for. I'm trying to find his house. Oh, there it is. All right, really quick, I got pee. We'll just wait outside his door. One sec.
I'm back. Anything with Jim Carrey is good. That dude can act in anything. Yeah, he's amazing in, in Eternal Sunshine. Oh, I just love that movie. Here's his big fish. I've never seen that movie, but I, I've heard... I've had that big fish movie recommended a fuck ton. I, I should watch it. I should fucking watch it. I need new things to watch. I'm kind of embarrassed about the show I started watching yesterday. I feel like I've watched every good TV show that's come out. I watch a lot of TV shows because I have to always fall asleep to something. Um, and then I tried watching. I started, I, I tried Sex in the City yesterday. <laughs> I don't know why it's so, it's such a, it's like an embarrassing show to admit that you tried watching. I didn't get into it though, but. Honestly, it wasn't terrible. It wasn't really that bad. I don't know why. The title of the show is Sex and the City, but I genuinely, I kind of thought that was just the title. I didn't think the show would actually be about like sex and dating, but that is all that the show is about, at least within the first two episodes. It's kind of a kind of a shock to me. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it. Not bad. I thought it was going to be more of just like a life in New York Isn't type a of show. Day if you're visiting the city. Good day, stranger. Soros Aranin is my name. Need the mage yes, staff. Yes, I have the staff Varen sold me. I'm afraid I'm not willing to part with it. I paid good money for it, after all. You understand, of course. All right, time to raise this guy up with uh with magic free. Honestly, very unethical to do this to someone, to charm them, just to, just to get your item, but... Be seeing you. Hello there. Sometimes a mage's guild makes you do unethical things. What do you want? It doesn't sound like he loves me right now. As much as I like you, friend, I'm just not willing to part with that staff. It's nothing personal. Alright, well... You... More unethical... Or an ethical scroll using. Go ahead, please. <laughs> Guess he has to die. <laughs> as much as I like. Oh my fucking god! You're gonna make me use all my scrolls that this lady gave me for free. Me too. That I wanted to keep for myself. What do you want? As much as I like you, friend, I'm just not willing to part with that staff. It's nothing personal. What? Okay, well, I guess he does have to die. What the hell? <laughs> Bye. I see. What do you- Yes? Oh man, I don't want to have to bribe him. I want my I money. I don't want to give it to him. Thank you. How- Every little- For me- See? Was that hard? I see making me feel pathetic for doing this. Look, I can't just give it to you. I paid good money for it after all. I'll tell you what. You give me at least a portion of what I paid for it. Say, 200 gold. And I'll give you the stuff. I hope I have 200 gold after trying That's to bribe a good deal, him so much. Right? I wouldn't offer it to anyone else, just you. So, what do you say? I mean, I. <laughs> I I'll guess just so. take the money from you then. And here's your staff. <laughs> now, since our business is concluded, you must excuse me. Good day. Why does he sound so suspicious right now? He offered it to me too. He's lying. <laughs> it's my pleasure. You've already purchased the stuff. Good day. What else will he tell me while he likes By me? By all accounts, he preaches that the attack on Anvil Chapel is an omen of some kind of coming doom. You should go to Anvil and hear him for yourself. What happens when the charm wears it's off? I don't know. Goodbye. Probably gets really fucking mad that you just manipulated him. I guess let's see. Go ahead, please. Hey, do you remember that you loved me from three seconds ago? <laughs> You've already purchased the staff, friend. I don't know, just take a walk around, buy something, plenty of stores. Why'd you come in the first place? He doesn't want me around you anymore. Too. Well, I got the staff at least. It's, uh, it's all that matters. He probably gave you a fake one. Oh, that would be fucked up. Cost me 400 gold. Yeah, thankfully, thankfully I'm balling right now. I'm rich. Yeah, I can level up. I need to sleep in a bed or something. 
Okay, let's go back to Breville. I'll take a little take a little carriage there. We'll sleep at the at the Mage Guild. Stop pissing off everyone you talk to. I'm trying my best. <laughs> trying my best to be nice and cordial. It's uh I guess I'm not good at it. I guess I'm not the most cordial person. What is it? Good news from Kavach for a change. The last of the Daedra have been driven out. Good news. Fantastic. And good news I from Kavach. That's good. Goodbye. It's the helmet. You think the helmet's making me not likable? I don't know. I think this helmet looks cool as fuck. If I saw someone wearing this helmet, I would instantly want to be their friend. I would be a little intimidated though. I would think they're too cool and it would make me nervous. So I guess I could backfire for sure. You seem quite intriguing. Please, share your thoughts. What's new with you? They say that slavery has been abolished. <laughs> Do you have the mage's staff associate? Or you don't order your own food, you'd run and hide. Well, yeah, I, but I would still want to be their friend if I saw someone wearing this helmet. No, I wouldn't approach him, but I would want to. I got the staff. Ah, wonderful. I shall be most pleased to return this to its rightful owner. Thank you. Her voice sounds different from you before, I think. You needn't tell me the details of what was involved in getting it. It's perhaps better that I know nothing about it. Suspicious. Your actions for the guild more than merit a recommendation. I shall send it to the yes! university promptly. And to thank you more personally, I shall teach you this spell. You may find it useful in certain circumstances. Ooh, is she going to teach me the spell for the, the charm? Start charming everyone. Please. I've received recommendations from all the local guild halls in Cyrodiil. I must now speak, or I must now travel to the Arcane University and speak with Raminus Polis. I'm in Let's go! Help, and I think you are the I'm joining the guild for real, for real. Alright. Let's, uh, let's take the... take the carriage to the city right, this is it this is everything I've been working towards for like three days three days to get all these recommendations I had to do so much if there's a certain conjuration spell that's unobtainable um, I can't read Unobtainable. If you proceed further with Mage's Guild, would you want to know? No, that's okay. That's okay. Don't yeah, tell right me. Here, citizen. It turns out your GPA isn't high enough and you're not allowed in. <laughs> My heart just shatters into a million pieces. Please, go ahead. Raminus is me. Hello, I'm the one that picked all the flowers. It seems you've obtained the final recommendation you required. I did. What do I get for this? Hey, Nanoush, thank you for the raid. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome, everybody. I hope we had a really good stream. Hello. What were you playing? What were you streaming? Me. Let me give you a shout out. If I can, I could spell. Hell yeah. I'm just out here playing, playing Oblivion for the first time. I'm about to join the Mages Guild. For the first time ever. Started Hobbit House building in Enshrouded. Oh cool, is that game good? I didn't, that game looks cool because I like survival crafting games, but I didn't play it. Uh, I didn't play it when it came out because uh, I, think, I think it came out near Pal World. And Pal World just consumed my life for like three weeks. It's super good. Nice. I gotta play it at some point. It looks really good. Fun fact, the voice actors in this game are given their lines in alphabetical order, which is why there are some inconsistencies with NPC voices. Huh. <laughs> that is very strange. The strange order to do it in. Did I play Valheim? Yeah, I did. I played Valheim when it first came out. I really liked Valheim. I never finished it, though. I never finished it because I really liked the early game in Valheim, so I would just keep restarting. Especially because, like... I'd play by myself, then I would join like a server and play with someone else and just restart over and over and over. So I never got to the end game. And you will love Enshrouded. Damn, I really gotta play it then. I 
think I will. I think this has convinced me to buy Enshrouded and give it a try at some point. There's also a voice line in this game where it's a mistake that was kept in the game by mistake. You can hear the voice actor go, hold on, let me do that one again, and then starts over. That's so funny. I respect that. I, I want to hear that one. I hope I get to hear it. All right, let's see what this guy has to say about me joining the guild. I have received recommendations from all the local guild halls in Cyrodiil. You've done well for yourself. You may now enter the university. I'm worthy. As a full-fledged member of the Mages Guild, I now also promote you to the rank of Apprentice and grant Ooh. you the robe of the Apprentice. Let's fucking Take go. Take a moment and try it on. Then we shall speak of what comes next for you. There's more? Honestly, I thought that'd be it. Hey, that's kind of clean. Right, come to the real work at last. I did you it. You have, no doubt, seen some of the worst the guild has to offer. As much as we try to hold mages to a higher standard, they are only human. Not what all I of hope them you are human, but... ...is that while the guild can be disjointed and misused, it can also achieve some wonderful things. Now you have an opportunity to engage in more meaningful tasks and continue Ooh. with your advancement through the guild. I'm ready to advance. You do not yet qualify for further advancement in the guild. But well, he just said I, I do. Or Before no, I guess I need to do can tasks begin first. Work for the guild. You'll need to do something for yourself. Okay. Every mage carries a staff. It is crafted and enchanted by the guild and is a symbol of status. You need such a staff. Okay, how do I get one? The wood used for staves comes from a grove to the northeast of the Imperial City, near Wellspring Cave. Wellspring Several Cave mages familiar. tend to the grove and should be able to assist you. Speak with either Zarasha or Elet when you arrive, and choose wisely. This has to be the most important decision of my life. Let's do business. Sell? Oh, he sells some crazy spells. I can't, cannot use those. You shall have a true mage's staff soon. Okay, I guess I could get staff. Well, Wellspring Cave. Yep, I've been there before. We'll head on over there. Should you need something, I will be. There. The mage's guild recommendations are basically the, the. Prelude to the actual quest line. That's funny. <laughs> well, you know, I worked hard to get here, so might as well keep going with the Mage Guild. I do really want to go do Hercene's quest, but I gotta get my Mage staff first. I guess it's uh, it's an important part of my initiation. When is it staffs and when is it stabs? That's a good question. I thought the plural was always stabs. Well, so misty. So misty and mysterious. Say stabs? Stabs? Am I saying it weird? Staffs? Stabs? I don't know. Is it not pronounced stabs? <laughs> I've accepted that I mispronounce a lot, a lot of words. I'm trying to staves? What the fuck are you talking about? No, it's not. What? Never heard that in my life ever. I don't believe you. <laughs> I do not believe you. How often do you talk about stabs? Probably never, to be honest. Which would explain why I don't know how to say it. Staves. Maybe I 
I've not been here before. Oh. That's why we camp nice things. I truly don't know if I believe you. I'm, I'll have to ask Jimmy later. He'll settle it for me. <laughs> ah, she fucking hit up there. way I've gone my entire life like this without ever hearing anyone say staffs. I swear I've heard people say staffs before. It's either that or I've never in my life heard anyone say that word out loud. It's one of those. You know, in between. Well, they are fucking me up right now. still wearing the robes you're right <laughs> that explains why i'm getting beat up so badly <laughs> it all makes sense now staffs is a, or staffs is a word staffs is a word both mean the same thing staffs is generally like a magician staff kind of thing but is it pronounced staves? Because there's just no way. That just sounds so wrong. I'm looking it up right now. Um. Hmm. That doesn't make any sense! I feel like I've never spoken English in my life right now. I actually just joined a Discord. Oops. If it's Google Translator's bias, I am using Google Translator right now. There's just no fucking way. I still don't believe it. <laughs> That's why I was thrown off because staff sounds way different than staves. I guess I've never in my fucking life heard the word staves. I can't even, I can't say staves. That sounds insane right now. I've never heard this word said out loud ever in my life until right now. Stave is also a word. Yeah, stave is a word like to stave off something, like to postpone it, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, what if it is trying to pronounce a different word right now? Well, now, okay, now you got me confused. Are you guys, are you guys talking about the word stave, like to, like, to stave something off? Or are you saying the multiple of staffs? Because now I'm confused. Because I thought you were talking about the word, like, the plural of staff this whole time. And now I, now you got me messed up in the head. <laughs> they're, pro they're both pronounced the same. I feel like my entire, like, understanding of the English language is crumbling right now. Collect your, yeah, isn't it collect your battle staffs in Varrock, not your battle staves? Now, okay, let's listen to the word battle. Battle stabs. What? No, it's not! I, I, it just doesn't make any fucking sense to me. No, nobody's ever said that before, to be fair. That's what I'm saying. I don't think anyone's ever said that before. 
Uh, also, I guess sorry to anyone that's listening to the VOD because in the in the VOD, I don't know if the the Google Translate sound will will show up. I guess I could edit it in though. <laughs> I'll alter and edit it in so it's pronounced the same way that I'm pronouncing it though. <laughs> Staffs and staves are both plurals of staff. Okay, so... So... I wasn't technically wrong, maybe. My wizard friend asked me if I can proofread a scroll for him, but it was more of a spell check. <laughs> <coughs> I need a wizard friend to settle this debate for me right now. It's actually messing with my head. This is just like... Wait, what was that one word that I was pronouncing wrong? Origano? <laughs> Dude, like two years ago on stream. Um, I've, I've never in my life heard the word oregano said out loud, ever. I'd only ever read it. I, like, I've only ever read it, like the spice. No one's ever said it out loud in my life before. Um, and I, on stream, I don't even know how it came up, but on stream we were talking about something. And I tried saying oregano. Um, and everyone was like, that's not how you say it. If you're talking about the spice, that's not how you say the word. And I was like, yes it is, because it's it's the same as the state Oregon. And everyone was like, that's not how you say that either! And I was freaking out. It like, that messed with me for a little bit. That, that fucked me up for a couple days for sure. This is how I feel right now. This is like the oregano thing all over again. <laughs> it's supposed to be or oregano, and I think the state is is just pronounced Oregon, which doesn't make sense. I think it should be pronounced Oregon. What's pronounced Oregon for the state? In England, it's pronounced oregano. So you aren't wrong to be clear. All right, I'm just unknowingly English, I guess. I'm just a little British. Have you heard of Arkansas? If it's not pronounced Arkansas, I don't know how you'd pronounce it. How do you say turmeric? I've heard people say turmeric out loud. It's, it's just, it's the words I've never heard out loud that fuck me up, I guess. <laughs> like awry. Oh, I pronounced awry as Ari for a really long time when I'd read it. <laughs> Fact check, nobody cares about UK English. Well, I care suddenly, since that's apparently how I pronounce things. North Americans constantly fight over pronunciation because we don't realize there are different dialects of North American English. I agree with that. I think there are different ways to say things. That's what I always say. I always just say, like, eh, you know what I'm... You, you get it. Like when I say conjure... Conjure instead of conjure. Which, t in my head, sounds almost exactly the same. It's just like, you get it. You know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> UK isn't real there, I said it. Damn. <laughs> Let's get this over with. Oh, what the hell? Why is there bad guys here? I thought, I thought this was where I'm getting my, my battle staff. Oh, it's a fucking necromancer. <laughs> Bye bye. What's up, beer? How's your weekend? Um, it's it's all right. It's pretty good, I guess. How's yours? <coughs> My voice is cracking right now. I found Z Zarasha, who is dead. I should investigate what happened to her. Dude, R.I.P. That's really sad. She's supposed to help me. I know this is not really the time and place, but I'll I'll take a little nap real quick and level up. Oh, plus four endurance. Let's go with these ones. I really need my strength up so I can carry more. I just don't say anything out loud. I speak through charades only. <laughs> That's what I'm starting to consider doing since apparently I can't pronounce anything correctly. Upgrading the sign language. If it's a fight 
<laughs> oh no, a colleague is dead. Guess I'll just take a nap real quick. <laughs> yep, the most normal thing to do oh, in that situation. I'm fucking him up. A Daedric Mace. That's badass. What the heck? He's just gonna go safe spawn in the water like a maniac? I don't want to go in that water. Oh, shit, there's more of them. What the fuck? They keep running! Not cool. I never need to ever have to make a potion myself ever again. They have so many. <laughs> it's running away like a little baby right now. It's being such a, such a coward. I say, knowing that I run away from every fight. Oh, and now I fell in the water. Nope, I jumped out. Never mind. Dude, I cannot catch up to this guy. <gasps> Got him cornered. Got him cornered. What oh, a freaking idiot. What a, what a silly little man. Running into the corner like that. What's up, Michael? First time playing Oblivion? Yeah! I like it. That's a good robe. I'll sell it. Well, they've got a lot of mage guild charters out here. It's kind of suspicious, I think. Hey, what's up, Nosnarp? My stuff breaks so quickly. Yeah, while they're standing motionless in a in a cave, I've been studying the blade. I'm studying the blade and magic. Just to really one up them. I see there's a little tunnel right there. I'm afraid of going underwater though. I mean, oh, I'm wearing a necklace of water walking. I should probably take that off. An air pocket? Uh oh. I have a spell for this, don't worry. <laughs> Somewhere. <laughs> ah! Oh, well, didn't even need it. Did I just go in a giant circle? I did. I just went in a giant circle. What? I feel like I missed something. Is this not anything? It's decoration. I guess it's just like a little pool for exercise or something. Okay, I'm freaking out. Conjuration was at its best in Morrowind Oblivion. I really like how magic is done in Oblivion. I've only played Skyrim, like as far as the Elder Scroll games. I've only played Skyrim other than this one. And I I much prefer the magic in this game. Like just the fact that you don't have to um, equip it into your hand. Like it, you can hold a sword and still, still use magic is really, really nice. Are you liking Oblivion more than Skyrim as a whole so far? <gasps> what have we here? Another just party? murdered someone. You will dance for me, little one. Yes, you will. I will make your corpse dance and then tear itself apart. 
I don't want that to happen to me. I don't want any of those things that she just said. <laughs> Um, which game do I like more? I, I mean, I like both of them a lot. I like the combat better in Oblivion. For sure, combat better in Oblivion. Um, Skyrim felt like it had more places to explore. And like, as far as like story goes, I, I think it's still too early in Oblivion for me to compare to stories. I've like barely done any quests. I barely like finished any quests. I've of course started a lot of quests, but as far as like finishing entire storylines, I finished very, very few. When necromancers that ambushed me have been defeated, I need to get wood for a staff and get back to Raminus Polis to tell him what happened. I like that all this happens, everyone's murdered, and I'm still just like, but my mage staff. I still need my staff. Got my priorities straight. Got so many awesome potions. Found a letter who was dead. Take her money though, she doesn't need it. Hey, you still need the staff, don't see the issue. I don't know, isn't the staff mostly just like symbolic? It's not, it's not like I'm gonna use it, so. Kinda, kinda seems like maybe the fact that our guild members are being murdered and picked off one by one is a little bit more important. the staff I thought I was supposed to get wood not like I guess the staff I got is wood but I thought I was gonna like chop a tree or something let's head back oh yeah this is the island that it didn't let me climb the other day that's cool I finally get to see what's here I put my water walking necklace back on was why you came here? Well, yeah, but I still think it's pretty insignificant now. I don't know. You know, maybe if I if I was using staffs more, maybe I'd be more excited about it, but I'm still gonna use my sword and shield, I think. And just a little magic sprinkled in. How's there a mountain lion here? Oh man. I'm so thankful that I have better armor and like, weapons now because mountain lions were ruining my life before. Just a couple days ago, mountain lions were like unkillable. Ow. Make me a coffee mug with her craft shit. Dead people don't need stuff. <laughs> that'd be a funny, be a funny mug to have and then like pass on to your children one day. <laughs> All right. I need to sell some stuff. I got way too much. Market district. I guess let's take a little detour. Before we tell the whole guild the terrible news everyone's being killed, let's uh, sell some stuff. stuff. In, please, let's do a little bit of shopping. Greetings to you. Let's check out Thornier's shop. I miss that guy. It is good to see you again. May I interest you in some of my fine. 
<laughs> I want to sell my Mage Guild robe because I know I'm not going to wear it, but I feel like like that'd be kind of rude. I don't think they'd be too happy about that. An, an excellent bargain. Hmm. Wow, I have a lot of these potions. I need to sell a couple. They're too heavy. You've made a good bit of gold. Hell yeah. You drive a hard bargain. Get my money up. A good. A f I'm just selling things that weigh a lot. Repair hammers. Thank you. There you go. Please return soon. It's all. What type of things I cook with my groceries? Greetings. How are you? Hello there. Um, you know, like toast. <laughs> Uh, microwaved, frozen food. All that really good, nutritious stuff for your body. All that kind of good stuff. Do you have a hoarder house in Oblivion? No, I haven't been able to buy a house yet. Hopefully soon. I usually... This is like the most money I've ever had in this game so far. But also, in the towns that I actually want a house, the, the Jarl or Count or whatever it's called in this game. I don't like that they're called the Counts and the Countesses because it, I don't know, it makes me think of like Dracula. <laughs> Throws me off a little bit. But anyway, they won't sell me a house. They say they don't like me enough. Or they, they, they don't trust me enough. That's just their way of saying they don't like me. I gotta earn their respect. Hey, camping tree. What is it, citizen? All right, time to tell them the bad news. What? Necromancers at the cave? Yep, crazy Elita. stuff. And Zorasha dead. I can't believe it. They've never been so bold before now. Always hiding in the shadows, staying away from the guild. What could have prompted this? I'll need to speak to the council about this. Thank you for relaying the information. I'll tend to your staff and your wounds if necessary. You know? Delmar at the Kiranesium can help you with the staff. Kiranesium See staff. him right away. You know, I feel like if we just allow the necromancers to join the mage's guild... This would all be fine. Like, if we just let them in, they're not going to want to kill people anymore. They're probably just jealous. I bet that's what it is. They're probably jealous that they're not allowed in the Mage's Guild. So I think necromancy is, like, outlawed or something from the guild. If they just let them in, everything would probably be fine. Now that you have the wood, speak with Delmar at the Kiranasium. You shall have a true Mage's staff soon. Oh, hello. A pleasure to Hello. speak with you. Be seeing you. You have my ear, citizen. Am I allowed in these, in this, this place now? Oh, nice! I'm allowed here. <gasps> Let's go. Let's see all their secrets. Hello there. My now, name is Hegar. I don't get out much. Too many books to read. <laughs> it's just like me. What's up, booty feet, senpai? Guess what? What? Venivia Melissea takes all the merchant complaints in the city. You too. He's just like me. <laughs> yeah, we're like we're even the same height in real life. Ah, Magister. I just remembered. There's something I'd like to discuss with you. Well, all right. Hello. But please be brief. I have some research Hello. I need. Wow, to this guy's to. skin is really. Well, you recall my hypothesis, um, the one I mentioned the other day. Sickly looking. Hmm. Yes, gotta check his yes liver. I'm sure you've got something exceedingly important to say. But the apprentices do not teach themselves now, do they? Good day. Hmm, yes. Fuck that guy, yes. I guess. What the hell? It's as I suspected after all. But I wonder, will this affect... Lustratorium? What the fuck? What could this Please? place possibly what can be? I help you with? 
Only quality goods for sale here. What can I interest you in? Not, not what I was expecting from the Lestratorium. Travels. Just a shop. Kyrenesium. Kyrenesium. Hello. Yeah, Delmar. The Damn, this guy's got cool fucking robes. Can I help you? I need my little mage ah, staff. Yes. This is a big step for you, friend, whether you know it or not. Now you'll need to decide what sort of staff you're looking for. Something that fits you and your abilities. Shall we begin? Sure. Enchanting staves can be a tricky business. Oh my god, he Only said it. He said staves. Only certain spells useful to That's you, so I'll narrow crazy. it down some. Let's start with the school. Which appeals most to you? Destruction, illusion, or mysticism? Oh, I don't even know. I feel like I use destruction the most, but mis mysticism kind of intrigues there me. There are three things I can enchant the staff with. Oh, I don't like any of those. Let's start oh. over. All right, then. Your choices are destruction. Destruction. Very well. You have three Hi, choices Norton. for what type of damage you'd like it to do. Let's go with fire. You have a staff capable of creating fireballs. If that's what you want, I'll get started right away. Let's do it. Right. I'll get to work. You come see me tomorrow, and I'll have your staff ready. All right. I'll wait right outside your door. Let's wait a full 24 hours right outside his door. I'm very eager for my staff. No illusion. I'm weep. I don't think I even use any illusion spells or anything. Anytime Dude, I bet those robes are so fucking comfortable. Welcome God, to I the wish I had a pair. Can I help you? Here to pick up my staff. Yes, it's all finished. It's in that cupboard back in the corner. I hope it serves you well. Good day. Corner. This one? Yeah. Major staff of fire. That's mine. Ooh. Or the ages of man. That's one I want to read at some point. Not right now. I think I'm too sleepy to really take in books today, unfortunately. Did not sleep well. That's definitely a book I want to read at some point. Oh, so I can enchant my own things now. Wow, that's expensive. Shield 8%. Did I do it? I don't think I did it. Let's first enter a valid name. Um, she. Shield boot. Hey, look at that! My first enchanted item! Well, that I enchanted myself. Shit, I got the, got the dogs out. Nice. It's just one of the boots got enchanted. Didn't have enough souls. Oh my gosh, she's not wearing shoes. Why? Martina Floria, master in charge. Tell me a rumor. Things in the guild have been different since Traven was named Archmage. They're more structured, but everyone seems tense. His face is a jump scare. Dude, imagine. Take care. It's like the, the the number one thing you don't ever want to hear someone say about your face is that your yeah. face jump scared them. It's the worst thing to hear ever. The uh, biggest blow to anyone's self-esteem. Greetings to you. A watchtower. What the heck? There's battle mages here. Where's the door? Oh.
I like how many plants they have growing here. Why are you looking at them sleeping? Just making sure they don't have sleep apnea or anything like that. Just making sure they're they're well and healthy. Healthy and well. Oh, nerd root. Can I take this? I hope that's not stealing. They really like the book, Mysterious Akavir. Have I read this one before? Oh yeah, I think we I think we have. Maybe we didn't. I don't, maybe we didn't read this one before. Oh, let me I'm gonna take this book. It's not stealing, right? It's just a book. I think I'm allowed to have that one. I'm saving the books for, for tomorrow, because today I'm just too sleepy to <laughs> intake big information, I think. At least from a book. I'll just mispronounce every word ever. What were you doing until 3am last night gaming? No, I just couldn't sleep. Ah yes, the mythic dawn scholar. What else can I help you with? Oh yeah, Tarmina, I Good remember day. her. The Mystic Archives have a large collection of books. Look around, and you may learn a thing or two. Oh, fuck yes, yeah, is the place for me. Farewell. Except terrible day to, to come here for the first time. Oh, well, actually. Um, almost all these books I've read before. Oh, this is a really short one. We should read this one. It's a short one. Uh, the Chronicles of the Holy Brothers of Merak, Volume 4. Um, or the Cleansing, Cleansing of the Fane. Um, editor's note, this is the only survi surviving fragment of the Chronicle of the First Era sect of the Alessian Order. It seems to have been kept at their great monastic complex at Lake Canulus, which was raised during the War of Righteousness and its archives destroyed or dispersed. Note also that Alessian scribes of this time customarily dated events from the ap apotheosis of Alessia. Uh, here is recorded the events of the year 127 of the Blessed Alessia. In this year was the day. In this year was a day darkened over all lands, and the sun was all as it were master, but three days old, and the stars about him at midday. This was on the fifth of the first seed. All who saw it were dismayed and said that a great event should come hereafter. So it did, for the same year issued forth a great concourse of devils from the ancient elvish temple Malada. Such had not been since the days of King Belarza. These devils greatly afflicted the land such that no man could plow or reap or seed, uh, and the people appealed to the brothers of Maruk for succor. Suc what? I don't know how to pronounce that one. And then Abbot Cosmos gathered all the brothers and led them to Malada also known as the High Fane in the Elvish Tongue, and came against it with holy fire, and the foul demons were destroyed, and many devilish relics and books found therein were burnt, and the land had peace for many years. Have I read, or they have every volume of the real Baron Zaya? I do have a lot. I wonder if this is the only place that has that, so, like, I've seen the like stacks of the Baron Zaya books in almost every town. I haven't read the Baron Zaya books yet. Oh, it's a bit of a Ooh. Fighters Guild History, first edition. Save that one for the future. What's modern heretics? Not 
sure if I've read Modern Heretics, but I want to read that one at some point. Here not long ago. I can't stand those things. King of Worms? What? Never heard of this guy. It's way too long of a book to read right now, though. The I feel like the lore books they have in Oblivion compared to Skyrim. There are a lot of the same books. I think like half the books I've encountered in this game I've already read within Skyrim. Don't know if I've met all um, but all the new ones I've read are really interesting. Still, it's a good shot they run. A lot of the books in this game touch more on the subjects that I'm interested in. Like it's a lot on, like the Daedra. Oh, Necromancer's Moon. I want to read that one too, just not right now. Making a mental note to come back here and read the books tomorrow. Um. Yeah, the books in this game touch more on the subjects I really like with all the older um, religious history in the game. I think I feel like in Skyrim, a lot of the books were about like the political history within the game, which wasn't as interesting to me. Master Spellmaker for the Mages Guild. Ooh, Let's master do business. Spells. Can't use any of these spells. Holy shit! Look how much mana they need. Right, I got my staff. Hi, Nim Nim. Summon Where's Lich. Oh, I didn't even see this summoning spell. Dude, where is the door? Did I go past it? Did I miss the door? Hello. Hello. Never mind, no door on this side, I guess. Or this one. Alright. I'm so happy to see you, I could burst! <laughs> what? I hope I can help. Why does she say that? I don't even know this what? lady. <laughs> I have a new task for you. Okay. Before you begin, we must first discuss your advancement within the guild. Oh shit, leveled up. In accordance with guild rules, you now qualify for the rank of journeyman. May you wear your rank well. Let's fucking go. We've gone from getting arrested every 15 minutes to I'm so happy I s to see you I could burst. Yeah, they really switched up on me. I'll take it though. The council is investigating what happened at Wellspring Cave. Many of our resources are devoted to the task, leaving our ranks spread thin. There is a related book that needs to be recovered. It was recently loaned to Janice Hasseldor, the Count of Skingrad. I'd like you to retrieve it. I, I can understand handle it. this may I love not books. seem the most important of tasks, but still, it needs doing, and you are one of the few available to do it. A note of caution. Skingrad is an <laughs> unusual place. What? Be prepared for the unexpected. I've been to Skingrad before. It's not. I don't think it's super Goodbye. unusual. I think the name. I think the name Skingrad is horribly off-putting. It sounds like skin graft. Like it's all I could think about when I hear Skingrad. I think skin graft. But it's not an unusual place, I'd say. Hey, Wolfstack! Thank you for the nine months. Holy shit! Look really? at this guy's hair. I never noticed it. Okay, well now he's not letting me look at it. That's. An impressive haircut. I hope I can help. Tell me a rumor. Half of the Council of Mages resigned when Traven took over the position of Archmage. Glarthir gives Skingrad uh, a bad rep. Until later. That's probably true. He did. He did pass away though. R.I.P. Glarthir. He was. He was. He was a troubled guy. We could say that. He was a troubled guy. Troubled little man. Speak. Alright, well. I do want to get that book for the Mages Guild. Like, I, I definitely will do that. But, before anything, um, my, you know, my, my lord and buddy, Hersene, asked me to go hunt a unicorn for him, so I'd like to do that for him. I'd like to not put that off for too long, because I want him to know that I'm devoted to him. 
so... You know, I never got to meet her scene in Skyrim. I think the Daedra are super interesting. I love the da Daedric prin princes or whatever. Lords, whatever you'd call them. I think they're pretty fucking cool. So I wanna... I wanna do his quest. In the Harkane Grove. I actually don't know where that is, though. I mean, I'm sure it's marked on my map. Oh, yeah. Look, there's a compass. You know, let's just follow my compass. Let's not even check the map first. Let's just go northwest. Oh. I thought my mouse just died. Uh, hey, uh... Laws Lenine was... <laughs> Thank you for the sub! I am so sorry that I can't read and pronounce things well. You know, it's not personal. I learned today for the first time how to pronounce the word staves. I've been saying it wrong my entire life, so... You look like a... It's all words I can't pronounce. Day three of asking if, and if they learned Daedric yet. I have not. Listen, if, if I'm not learning, like, within the game, I'm not gonna learn it, because I... Unless the game teaches me, I probably will not be learning that. So I'm not gonna look up external things. So can't say succor. That's a that's a strange word. Cause my brain wants to say it like success, like suck succor. But that sounds wrong too. This doesn't make any damn sense to me. We had a Lydia what incident it, in this citizen? game. No, I don't know if you get companions in this game. It seems like maybe not. Holy shit, why is this person invisible? What the fuck? What was that? The hell? I want to investigate, but I don't want to get in trouble. That lady was invisible for a second. By the nine divines, can't a woman get a moment to herself? Go ahead. Explain please. yourself, invisible lady. What the hell? <laughs> He's that imperial watch captain that's always chasing after the grey fox and the thieves guild. She's, she's, not, she's just not going to say anything about the fact that she's invisible. You mean the holy hermit of Anne? I've been hearing disturbing tales about oblivion gates opening all across... <laughs> Mind your business. <laughs> okay, that's fair. I'm seeing you. I guess that's fair. She has anxiety. <laughs> Honestly, if I could go invisible like that, just walking around town, I would definitely do it. So, I understand. When you put it like that, I understand. I have to go to the market district. Sell some things. I think my IRL game is bugged. I'm also getting no companions. What's up, hacks? Damn, I'm gonna start start leveling your speech craft <laughs> skill or something. Get your Riz level up. Prey approaches. You smell of death. Um nope, it's still not the right place. Temple District. Wait. Getting close. Getting close to the Market District. Soon I'll have the city memorized, I feel like. I still don't, but soon. Ar Arboretum. Okay, that's the wrong one. I misclicked. It's you. The hero of Kavach. This me. is true. I don't think it makes any difference, but when I, you know, try and like be up a little bit, I feel like I'm moving faster. Maybe it's just I, I'm more engaged with, with Hello, jumping. Hello, my friend. 
Ah, oh, the store's closed. Oh, okay. I'll wait till it opens. Uh, for, for context, quote put an autism spectrum test thing in Image Arena and Kais cheated? Wait, how? <laughs> it is good to see. How did you cheat on it, Kais? Only quality goods for sale here. What can I interest you? I'm selling my previous robes. I clearly don't need them since I ranked up. I don't know which potions to get rid of. I know I have a lot, but I feel like I should keep a lot of them. I, I know. I only have one of those. I, I sell that one. You what do I need willpower for? You've made a good... It's probably good. Hey, Restless, thanks for the 25 months. Thank you for your... Di hello, hello. Please thanks so much, dude. Please soon. Answer the opposite of what you should have. Well, okay, so you gotta retake the test then. <laughs> Side of the city. I'm feeling lazy today. <laughs> I can't teleport outside. We're going to hunt a unicorn for her seed and everything in the name of her seed. Am I scared of the autism test? No. I've taken online autism tests before. I don't know if I like fully believe like random online ones. I mean, like as you expect, they all did say <laughs> they had autism, but I still I don't hundred percent believe them. No, I can't believe them if if you cheat. Um, I mean, I just don't know how accurate, like, online tests are. Especially with how many, like, different ones there, there are. Now I can't use the therapist card because you broke up with her. Can you get a new one faster? I mean... Just because she's not my therapist anymore doesn't mean it, like, invalidates her speculating that I have autism, but I don't know. I don't... I'm reluctant to say that I would, like, agree with anything like that until I got officially diagnosed, and I don't know if I want to. No, I've actually been thinking about that a lot recently, ever since my therapist said she thinks I have autism. I've been wondering if I should consider getting tested, but I don't know. I go back and forth in my head. It seems like a very annoying process for not much benefit except for, I guess, knowing for sure, but I, I don't, I personally just don't know if it would change my life too much. I don't think it really it would really matter. To be like 100% sure or not. But I don't know. It's not really an annoying process. Dude, even just going to the doctor for me is an annoying process. I don't like having to set up appointments and all that stuff. Oh wow, my game just rendered so slow. Um, 
are you playing the game of the year edition yeah i think i think that's the only one you could get on steam like it's game of the year or game of the year deluxe and i just have the regular game of the year it comes with dlcs but it's missing it's missing like random dlcs like small ones i think one of them was horse armor that the deluxe one had and then oh my god that's a lot of horses what the fuck have I never been here on the map before? I might have never been here before. I've never seen this many horses. Take a picture of them. Uh, I'd say it really only matters if it affects your therapy treatment. Best to ask your next therapist or professional opinion. Yeah, that's probably what I'll end up doing. There's just one invisible. Oh. What's the matter? Can't believe these guys are murdering me for no reason. The other guy go. There he is. Ow. No fireball stuff. Oh, I forgot I even got that. <laughs> it's kind of just for a show for me, so I don't. Oh, you can't change weapons mid fight? I guess that's the first time I've ever tried to change my weapon mid battle. I didn't know you can change mid fight. Well, I guess we will not try my new staff. You can, just not mid-swing. Oh. Okay, well, I know I'm not in combat. Let's just see what... That's a fireball. That is a fireball. That's cool. my combat with oh my it's a troll hey this is perfect for a fireball staff Holy fuck. Huh. maybe i will use my staff maybe it's not just for decoration maybe this is a cool cool thing i got I heard of Kingdom Come Deliverance. Yeah. It, that's like a game where you you start off like kind of as like a grunt, right? And climb no, I might be thinking of a different game. I don't know. I I have heard of that game, but I might be mixing it up. I know Jimmy was obsessed with a game that I think was titled that at one point. And he said that what he really liked about it was that you you start off as like a nobody and kind of have to like earn your rank in the game or something. Hey, wait, Shrine. Woohoo, my pilgrimage. Uh, Kingdom Come Deliverance, aka Peasant Simulator. Dude, that's what this game has felt like for me. I've been poor for a very long time in Oblivion. Until, until very recently. Can't believe me and Jimmy have the same game taste. Yeah, you do have a lot of very similar games that you like. I've never tried the, the Kingdom game though. I don't know if I'd like it or dislike it. Hey, what's up, Drugathon? What are you doing? Well, you know, just- Oh, I see the unicorn. Just out here doing quests and tasks for Daedric Lords. Just being chill, you know? What about you, Jugathon? What are you doing? Oh, unicorn! Oh, I'm supposed to hunt one of those. I should I kill the min- Whoa! Oh, 
probably kill the Minotaurs first, I think. And the bears and everything that wants to be dead. Unicorn, you think? I think a unicorn. What the fuck is happening right now? <laughs> this, is <laughs> this is terrible. Oh man. Oh man. Hold on. It's a good time for my new staff, probably. doing it. I can't tell if it's doing anything at all. I feel like it's not. And there's a troll now. Oh my god. I'm missing all my hands. I don't know if she doesn't like fire. There we go. Hey, this stuff is kind of going crazy mode, to be honest. Damn. Holy shit. Dude, maybe using melee this whole time was was not the right move. Maybe the magic has been the move the whole time. That was insane how strong that was. Crazy. Ah, uh, you know, just doing my job. Doing what the what the Daedra tell me. I wonder if that's even what I was supposed to do. Oh yeah, I've killed the unicorn, retrieved his horn. Back to Hersian. Where are we on the map right now? Oh, I'm like really close to the shrine. What the heck? I thought it was going a very different, <laughs> different way. I better have not been the last unicorn. I swear I saw two of them in the field at one point. So, you can rest easy knowing there's probably at least one more. One more final unicorn somewhere. Background music in this game is so euphoric. It's really peaceful. I feel like the music in this game is more peaceful than it was in Skyrim. Just the environment in general feels a little more peaceful and hopeful because of the, because of how bright it is. All right, Hersteen, I got the unicorn. Yes, Santa, make your offering. Did you taste its flesh and drink its blood? Never Not waste all the that. spoils of a kill. <laughs> I did not do all those things. Take my token and wear it well. Hereafter, take your prey and whisper about. <laughs> didn't even finish his sentence. Hersey was impressed with my skill in hunting the unicorn. He has rewarded me with the savior's eye. Hell yeah. Pretty cool. It's got a little face on it. I bet these guys think I'm really cool now. Greetings, favored of Hirsin. The favorite. Daedra lords demand offerings and services. If you won't do as you're told, just forget about it. <laughs> All right. Good hunting, hi. Greetings, favorite of Hircine. Forgot how terrible these graphics are. I really like the graphics, personally. The faces are a little wacky sometimes, but not all of them. They're actually... I've seen some, like, decent-looking faces in this game. And hey, Andio, thanks for the eight months. You better have the right offering or you're wasting your time here. Oh, I got the right offering. Hunting. Greetings, 
favorite of her scene. Glad they're recognizing me as, no as the favorite. Why can't they just leave us alone? For two the for two thousand six, these graphics were good. I think they're still good. I don't have any graphical mods at all, and I think the game looks awesome. I think it just sticks to like a like a nice stylized look. Like I, I like the style they chose for the graphics. I think it works well, and it's for me personally. I think it's timeless. I think it will always look pretty good. Do I like this or Skyrim better? Um, I think I like certain things better within each game. Like, I think the combat is way better in this game than in Skyrim, just personally. Um, but Skyrim had more things to explore. Like, more- well... I shouldn't say that, because this game has a lot to explore, but, like, Skyrim had more, like, random differing points of interest, I should say. Like, like a big variety of things to explore, like shipwrecks and- and camps and caves and and dungeons and stuff like that. Whereas here it's been there like there is variety in this game too for sure. But it's not as much. But I mean Skyrim's the newer one, so it makes sense. Go my champion may be the last head on the huntsman's wall. Aw, I want her to give me another quest. I mean I'm honored to have his armor, but I want more quests. From him specifically. All right. This game is green with vibrancy, while Skyrim just looks bleak and same browns everywhere. Yeah, Skyrim was just really desaturated. Which I'm sh I'm sure you could fix that with mods and stuff, but um, yeah, just the default it was very desaturated. I like the vibrancy in this game better, too. But Skyrim was still extremely beautiful. Oh, what the fuck is that? It's, it's perfect time for my fire staff. Melt this guy. Easy for me. I love my magic staff. All right, now I can do my mage guild quest. I just needed to go do her scene's little little task first. What's the damage value on your fire stuff? Uh, 80 points of fire damage, holy crap. It needs to be recharged though. I don't have a lot of, I do have some soul gems, but not a lot. Where'd they go? I don't want to use my grand soul gem or anything. I have to start trapping souls. Yeah, I have the spell for it. I just haven't been using it too much. I got soul trap. Maybe I'll use it on like a mud crab. Because every time I try and use it, it says the soul is too large to go into the gem. I gotta kill something small, like a little crab, I guess. Again. Nice. They're gonna go extinct at this rate. Where do you get the Grand Soul Gems? Oh, I've just found them. Let's pick them up in random dungeons and stuff. I slowly but surely recharging my my weapons with tiny little minuscule souls. Okay, I did I did get a quest. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to go to Skingrad. I forgot I already got my Mage Guild quest. We gotta go to Skingrad because I've gotta retrieve a book for the Mages Guild. Only I'm capable of doing this task. I'm the only one that can retrieve books. The only one built for it. That crab, or that soul crab is going to be trapped in the soul cairn forever. 
Well, I don't think that's the worst life. I don't think that's the worst fate. The soul can ain't so bad. I hung out there in Skyrim. It was kind of cozy. Trap his soul real quick. Am I supposed to be impressed? Ah! 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 Oh! Oh! oh my god! I can't even see what's happening right now. Too much fire. There's no soul gem in your inventory large enough to capture the soul. Man. His soul. Oh, Maze of the Inferno. Oh. Damn, I like that weapon, but it's too heavy. I cannot hold on to it, unfortunately. Wonder how big my soul is. Same. I think mine's probably like a medium. No, oh, I don't think I got like a giant soul or anything. Just a modest, modest soul size. I'm petty, a thousand percent. <laughs> I think same for me, probably. Wouldn't even charge a single weapon with my soul. Flotten has a large soul of a brave hero. Uh, you know, I like to roleplay as someone with a large soul in in games, but in real life, very, very not brave person. Very scared of many things all the time, almost. Very nervous person. Not too much bravery. Stop lying! <laughs> I, I mean, it is true, I am a very fearful person. Let's see if we could trap his soul. I should I should key bind my soul trap. I can't even find it. There it is. Let's key bind it to something. I don't know to what. Wait, it already is. Okay. I think I used it too early. Oh, no soul gem large enough still. Fun will get scared of getting plates from the top shelf. Yep, that's why I don't even put plates there. Just fully avoid that situation entirely. Am I going the right way? I feel like I'm not. Oh, kind of. Let's, do, let's take a little shortcut. Shortcut across the woods. Oh, I see a portal over there. <laughs> I still, I have been doing a terrible job of closing the oblivion portals. I've kind of just, I've kind of just entirely ignored that they even exist. <laughs> I don't know why. I think oblivion is super interesting, but there's just so many interesting things happening in the overworld as well. It's hard to, it's hard to balance. up slump butt god damn that's a pretty cool looking portal though it's a I like that spot for a portal I'm trying to take a picture of it but it's not it's not taking a picture oh well can't take a screenshot, I guess. I'll just have to remember how cool that looks for forever. 
This flattened like mutton. <laughs> you know, I can't say I've ever tried it. I don't even know what kind of meat that is. I'm just, I've only ever seen that used in like, like in this game. If you kill like, if you kill a rat, I think you get rat, or no. No, because I didn't get rat meat. I don't know what you kill in this game to get mutton, but there's something. Maybe a, a boar? Oh, it's lamb or sheep. Oh, I actually do like lamb. Most meat I don't like, but I, I like lamb in like in a gyro or whatever. I don't know how you say that word. I might be saying it wrong. I'm guessing. Some people say gyro. They don't pronounce the G at all. I don't know what the truth is. Rabbit tastes good too. Oh, I don't know if I could eat a rabbit. You don't like meat? I don't like, like, chicken. I don't hate chicken. Like, it's- I don't think it tastes horrible or anything, but I would definitely prefer not to eat chicken. <sighs> I like game. I assume that's in reference to some kind of meat. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> just so basic to only eat chicken. I mean, chicken's like, it's not like it's bad for you or anything. I would, I would like to eat more chicken than I do, but I just don't like the taste. I can't eat chicken. I have a problem where I just, I cannot touch the meat of a chicken. Like raw chicken, I can't touch it. Even with gloves on, I don't even want to touch it with gloves on. It really like freaks me out. I don't like it. Pretty much any raw meat, actually. I just can't cook meat, <laughs> in general. Raw meat really grosses me out, and I would just... My life is just a lot better without having to touch it or cook it. And that dog bit me. Thank you for the six months. I don't know what a bear gyro would taste like. Why pretty good. Wait, no. Actually, I remember... Someone in the chat, when we were playing Skyrim, we were talking about bear meat, and someone said that... The reason we don't eat bears is because they have like a fuck ton of parasites and their meat is like fully riddled with parasites. It's like actually inedible, unedible. So I take it back. I bet bear meat would taste very bad. It tastes like little worms squirming around. You would die within days in the wild. I would train my stomach to be able to digest grass and I would start grazing and life would be good. <gasps> I think if I start microdosing grass or like, like hate grass or something, like what my prairie dogs eat, my stomach will learn how to digest it. Over time. A teeny tiny bit over time. Goddamn, would things be easier? If you somehow grow more stomachs, then yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'll be the first. I don't think prairie dogs have multiple stomachs. Maybe they do, I don't know. They don't look like they got room for that though. I think prairie dogs though just have like some kind of enzyme that lets them digest that stuff. Rather than multiple stomachs. pictures of them of the prairie dogs i 
can do that. I've been taking more pictures of them lately. I just didn't take any pictures of them for like a month or something. A while. But I uh, start taking a lot more. You just say prairie dogs don't have stomachs? No, I said I don't think they have multiple. Like cows. I have cows have multiple. We fiend for more pictures. I posted a really cute one of Larry on my Instagram story today. Of him just looking like a little sweetheart. He's looking, he looks very polite. Polite and handsome is how I'd describe him. Some animals swallow rocks to help with digestion of plants. Maybe eat some rocks. I'll keep that in mind for a survival situation. And then, you know, if it doesn't work, then um, I guess I'm out of the survival situation faster through death. It works in Stardew Valley. Wait, what does? Eating rocks? I didn't know you could do that in that game. Larry does not look polite in that picture. It looks like he had a bone to pick with you. What? I think he looks super polite in that picture. I think it's a great handsome picture of him. One of the characters in Stardew Valley that you can romance eats rocks, really? Which one? What's their name? I haven't played Stardew Valley in a really long time, but I think I still remember their names. Some of them. Abigail? Is she blonde? She's she's blonde. I think I'm thinking of the right... Oh, never mind. The one with the purple hair. Oh, she eats rocks? No fucking way. I didn't know that. I don't think I've played Stardew Valley enough to- I've never even had the opportunity to like romance a character in that game. No one ever liked me enough. But to be fair, I, I don't have a lot of hours in it. Games like Stardew Valley, like a lot of survival crafting games. I don't know if you'd consider that game survival crafting. I mean, it's farming simulator, but a lot of games like that, I just can't play single player. Like they're more fun for me in uh, on multiplayer versions. You had the opportunity, you just didn't see the signs. That's probably true. Too oblivious. skilled in alteration. All right, we gotta find the, the Jarl's house and ask for a book. For the Mage's Guild. I don't even know where the Jarl's house is. I don't know if I've been to it in this town. Oh! No, never mind, I do. It's on, the, it's on top of the hill. Does the speedrun glitch still work? I have no idea. I don't know glitches in this game. I feel like I move pretty fast when I'm bee hopping. I don't think that's a glitch though. I also might be moving the exact same speed, it just feels faster. Ooh, I like this road. I like this view. Skingrad is a is a nice city. They really should change the name. They should let me be the Jarl and I'll change the name. Oh, I've definitely not been here. Fancy ass place. Hi there. Oh, it's closed. Oh, maybe it's I'm going the wrong way. Not the 
wrong way. Yeah, the town could be called Flubgrad instead of Skingrad. Damn, look at his portrait. That's a good-ass portrait. Respect to whoever painted it. Where's the Jarl, though? This doesn't even look like a Jarl's chair. This is the fucking throne room. door. Oh. Um, ow. I guess it's, let's wait till morning. Maybe they just didn't set up yet. Fight well. That's not the Jarl Are either. You? I've been better. How about you? Or is this the Yes, Jarl? the Mage's Guild, you say? Oh, the Count is quite aware of your presence here. He simply has no interest in granting you an audience at this time. He's not going to return now the book? Now that I've seen you myself, I can't say that I blame him. What? This isn't personal. Nevertheless, I shall endeavor to change his mind on the subject. Return tomorrow. Perhaps he will see you then. <laughs> what? Greetings to you. What the hell? I think I look really cool. Would this be someone you wouldn't want to see? I feel like I look really cool right here. I think anyone would want to talk to me. Anyone looking for work should consider the Fighters Guild. I hear they're always. May your kills be quick and many. Oh. Yeah, especially when I'm holding my sword. Exactly. You, do you really want to talk to me then? They don't like your leather shirt. It's okay. I brought it. I brought an extra. Our, our backup shirt, just in case. You smell of death. Yes. Bye. Well, I suppose I just wait here till the Jarl's ready to see me. Hello. Has a day passed yet? No. Then, as I. <laughs> I mean, it's basically been Go a day. Ahead. I understand the fighter. I guess let's wait a full day. Can't believe they're gonna make me go into a deep meditative state for a whole day just to get this book. You there. I have an update for you. The Count has agreed to see you, but not here. He That's wishes creepy. to meet you north of the cursed mine outside of town after 2 a.m. It would be wise of you to be on time. Follow the road west out of Skingrad. I don't like where this pasture. is going. The mine entrance is south of the road. The Count will meet you just outside it. It's either, it's either I'm being set up to be murdered, or this is like a, um, like a sex thing or something. I don't know, and I don't like both. I don't like either option. Either option is not too good for me. What is it? I love this count. <laughs> well, you have a higher opinion of him than I do. Maybe he's romancing you under the moonlight. I didn't think of it that way. That's a way more optimistic look of it. You know, I should be more optimistic. I'm gonna go with your interpretation. I like that one. Oh, my game just crashed. <laughs> well, all right. <laughs> well, that's what I get for being optimistic. I'm going back to being pessimistic. Just assuming the worst in everyone. The game does not like it when you're optimistic. Is there any scenario where a Dragon Hunter crossbow is better than Dragon Hunter Lance? That's a good question, Shobas. I do not have the answer, unfortunately. A lot of a lot of my like deeper RuneScape knowledge has definitely kind of like just dissipated, just disintegrated out of my brain. If you want to AFK dragons without Twisted Bow or on Ulm. Hmm. 
Also, I guess maybe yes. if your if your range skill is better than your melee skills. All right. Other side of the city. Forecast for sure. Dragon Hunter crossbow is better? I didn't know that. I always use the lance for Vorkath. That's because I have one and I don't have the crossbow. Only for Vorkath speedrun? Mm. If you If you get lucky with specs, I guess. Or just hits. Just good RNG. Oh, I missed! I always use lands for Vorkath because I don't want to spend money on ammo. Same. That's usually my, my motivation as well for using melee. I do not have the money on RuneScape to, to blow on ammo. Not anymore. Okay, so somewhere, somewhere near here, I'm supposed to meet the, meet the Jarl. It's, uh, I'm supposed to meet him at 2 a.m. Let's, let's wait a little bit. It's a little darker. He said not to be late, so I don't want to make it too late. Let's do three hours. Be early. We'll be an hour early. Still don't know if I'm in the right spot for it. It says I am. Oh. I don't. Have well, well. You're early, mage. I'm punctual. I'm afraid I misled you. The Count won't be arriving. In fact, he doesn't even know you're here. We're not about hell? to let the Guild interfere with our plans. For the Count or otherwise. <laughs> so, you'll have to We're die. not interfering? All Don't I worry. asked was for a book. You'll put your body to good use. I assure This entire quest is to get a book. <laughs> We're not interfering with anything. That's a crazy assumption for him to make. He jumped a lot of a lot of steps to get to this conclusion. Oh my god. Oh my god. A lot of, a lot of guys. I can't believe necromancers are taking over the whole fucking world. Oh my god, I can't even I can't even hit them. They're, they're running all over the place. Will you fall down and Let's get that Let's get this over. You impossible fool. What possessed you to think I would suggest a meeting here, of all places? Oh, that's him! That's the Jarl! At least your gullibility Holy shit, he's a hero. some useful purpose. I knew about Makeda, but not his friends. Now none of them are a threat any longer. <laughs> Who are you, I say to the Jarl? Call Janus Hasseldor at your service. A thank you might be in order at this point. This guy's a fucking badass. You, I feel like you rarely see a Jarl that's out in the battlefield. Do you not recognize a necromancer when you see one? I suspected Makeda was involved in their cult, but was unwilling to move against him without knowing the identities of his allies. Damn, probably just killed half the town. Despite what your council may think, I've not thrown in with the necromancers and would never do so. You may pass along that message. I'll pass that along, but I'm just here for a book. Yeah, I was only here for a Is book. Is that so? <laughs> hmm. 
Perhaps your counsel has not been entirely honest with you. My own guild would Do lie you to really me? Do really believe they sent you here for a book? No, I did they sent that. you here to spy on me. I believe that entirely. They've heard the same rumors I have about the <laughs> necromancer's cult. Go on. Tell your counsel that the next time they want something from me, they come themselves. They don't send someone under false pretenses. That's fair. Sorry, Jadis. Yes, I see that now. I regret that Traven has involved you in this way. At least you've survived. For now. Perhaps in the future you can be trusted enough to deal with more serious matters. I'm trustworthy. Now our as fuck. business here is concluded. I suggest you return to your council. Ever seen a Jarl be so with the shits? Yeah, this guy's a beast. He's even more badass than like Ulfric from from Skyrim. I actually didn't like Ulfric in the end, so I think almost anyone's more badass than him. You saw nothing, Shepherd. No, I don't think he even gave me a book. Hello. I mean, he did say the book was the book basically didn't matter, but um. You know, I still would have, still would have liked a book of any sort. I love books. Oh, he's stuck on the gate. Now nah, he got it. He got it. He's smart. Hi there. I've said all there is to be said. Trouble me no more. Okay. Well met. Guess I have to go back to the Mages Guild? Yep. Deliver the message. We're just gonna take the, the carriage there. The pretend carriage. All frick is just a big whiny baby concerned only for Nords. Bro can't even handle the whole of Skyrim. That's what I'm thinking. You have my ear, citizen. I think I almost sided with him, and then he. The fact that they questioned my intentions is the only thing that made me not. I played as a wood elf in Skyrim. Let's wait till it's morning. Find greetings to you. Raminus, you, you lied been to, to me. Skingrad and seen Count Hasseldor? Saved you, did he? Well, that's a that's good a sign. Synaptic. I must apologize. It was never the council's intention to put you in harm's way. I don't know if I trust that. Yeah, why would you lie? The Count's unique nature is not public knowledge. The council wishes to keep it that way. At the time, it was believed that there was... No reason to inform Rose you. Rose blood on his shirt. You see the red? You were given. For that reason, I was unable to disclose more about his true identity to you. Clearly, that judgment was in error. I apologize. Never fucking lie to me again. Did you ever play Arcanist? Um, don't think so. Archmage Traven feared that sending a high-ranking official with the guild might draw too much attention. And provoke a reaction from the Count. Counts we were also concerned that it might drive any necromancers in the area underground, making them more difficult to root out. We simply wanted to survey the situation in Skingrad. Our relationship with Hasseldor is tenuous at best. The Council has agreed to keep his nature a secret, and in exchange, he occasionally provides us with useful information. Hmm. As a vampire, the he's a vampire. He can trust. He has disguised his nature from most, but cannot hide huh. it from the Council of Mages. Maybe so all he the counts and countesses are accord. vampires. Seen, I don't know. That agreement is under a great like it's deal a little of strain. Suspicious. They're called counts. The count does not agree with certain policies the guild has established. You protect a vampire? I think vampires are chill, personally. It's not quite that simple. Hasseldor is powerful, to be sure, 
but the council does not consider him <sighs> to be a threat. After all, he has ruled over Skingrad for quite some time without incident. <laughs> he didn't suck your blood, so he's good, I guess. Yeah, I like him. I thought he was because he had red eyes. I noticed when when he was talking, like the Count and Skingrad, like he had sharp um teeth, whatever you call a, I don't know the name of that tooth, the vampire tooth. But I thought it was a, you know, aesthetic choice. Canines, yeah. We feared Hasseldor may have been involved with the necromancers. Thanks to your involvement, it would seem that he is not. At least, not for the moment. We will continue to monitor the situation, but I assure you, we will make no further attempts to mislead you. You have done your job admirably, and I thank you for it. Yeah, I'm kind of a beast. Your services to the guild have not gone unnoticed. As of this moment, you have gained the rank of Evoker. I'm ranked up. Along with your new rank, please take this amulet. Ooh. May it help keep you safe in times of danger. Jewelry. Goodbye. Let's see what this is. Spell absorption, 23 points. Holy shit. <laughs> That's a little bit more useful than my water walking necklace. I have a new task for you, and I assure you there are no necromancers involved. <laughs> Right. Are Definitely you trust this it? guy. If not, I understand you've been through quite a bit lately. Oh, Very well. Ready. There's a research project going on at one of the alien ruin sites on the eastern side of the province. He smiles too much Irlov when he talks. It makes me not trust him. Project and is apparently in need of some help. I thought you might need a break after the things you've been exposed to lately. You can find Erlov in the Archmage's Tower. All right. Erlov should be waiting for you. They call that a shit-eating grin. <laughs> yeah, that is what it looks like. That's a good way to describe it. Archmage's Chambers. All right, before we go there, I gotta pee real quick. One sec. One second. The Doomstones are a mystery. Are they traces of the mythic times, or creations of ancient beast folk, or lost races of myrrh or men? Good to know. Have you had the pleasure of staying at the Tiber Septum? It's the finest place in the city. Simply an excellent inn. I've been hearing disturbing tales about Oblivion Gates opening all across Cyrodiil. I hope it's just wild talk. I've heard others say the same. What's the news from the other parts of Tamriel? I understand Daedra worship has become increasingly prevalent in the Somerset Isle. It seems Somerset Isle has become a much more dangerous place. Good day. Oh, I came back at the right time. <laughs> Spud, thank you for the raid. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hello from Spud, hello. Hello from Flutton. Welcome, everybody. What was Sput playing Hello. today? I know Sput's been playing RimWorld a lot. And, um, content I'm warning. Well, I'm a big Sput fan as well. Shouts out Sput. Sput is the number one best emotes on Twitch. Just saying. Oh, um, I'm playing Oblivion. First time playing. Well, first playthrough, I should say. I've been, I've been playing for like a week now. 
Oh, he was playing Rimworld? Nice. I know the DLC just came out, yes. but I'm, I'm guessing he probably wasn't playing the DLC. Oh, hello. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm supposed to talk to. You're about Vatican, are you? It's a damn shame. I haven't been giving the project the attention it deserves. I'm in the Mage's Guild the on Oblivion right now. The last report I received now. from Scalio indicated there was some sort of problem. Doing, a doing little tasks. Or something that they couldn't get past. I'd investigate it further, but I'm needed here with the Council. Ramanus says you've got a good head on your shoulders. Look into it for me, will you? You can find Scalil at the site. Alright, I could do that. I can investigate. I eagerly await your return. Top of this guy's head is a perfect shape. Get yourself to Vodakin <laughs> and see if you can help Scalil. He's got a great head shape. I'll give him that. Shut Props to him. Shouts out to his head I shape. Really await your return. My head, I can guarantee you my head would not look like that if I was bald. I would have a little dent at the top of my head. I wear my headset for way too many hours every day. I can, when I wash my hair and, um, you know, when my hair is like my laying flat, sense. I can feel, I can feel my headset dent. Got a little bit of a dent. That's okay though. You, you know, you can't see it. I got hair in the way. But I know it's there. I know it's there. The same, you have one too. The good news is it's not permanent. Like it, it definitely, headset dents and stuff definitely go away because I also get a dent, like behind my ears, I get a dent from my glasses. Like the, the sides of my glasses. I think it's because my headset squishes them into my head. Um. So I get a little dent from from my glasses, but like, you know, at night when I'm sleeping, I don't wear my glasses. And I wake when I wake up in the morning, the dent is gone. So <laughs> slowly my, my head inflates back or something. It's, it's your... <laughs> shape goes back to normal. <laughs> it is permanent. Are you gonna stop wearing glasses or gaming? No, <laughs> so it's permanent. <laughs> I mean, I don't think that that's the same as it being permanent forever. I know for a fact it goes away, but then I just, you know, I do my same routine it? that brings it back. I also have a glasses dent. I feel like it's normal. You know, we've just got very malleable heads. Nothing wrong with that. We can mold our head into any shape we want over time. Right, where am I supposed to be going? Oh, we're going to the we're going to the east. I get the glasses dent on my nose. You do? I don't know if I get one on my nose. I can't tell. All right, let's uh let's sell some stuff real quick. Let's see where's the mark district. travel there since I'm like super sleep deprived today I can feel myself being lazier in game like by a really significant amount like I'm fast traveling more than I ever 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 do and I'm not reading the books I want to read in game because I know my brain's just not gonna it's not gonna intake the information what's wrong with these books hmm. I don't think that guy likes me he's gonna give me bad prices Have I even been in this store Hello before? Again. You're more I don't think I have. Have a look hey, around. Burglar. How are you? you? Find better prices doing all right? All doing all right. How are you doing? I'm having a very, very sleepy, sleep deprived day, but you know, it happens. Can't be at top mental, um, a fine yep. transaction. Can't have your brain working all the time, is what I'm trying to say. It would just be kind of unfair if your brain That's worked 100% all the time. Be a little bit too OP, I think. You drive a hard. I should have way too many of whatever this plant is.
Another satisfied customer. Yeah. Be seeing you. How goes? How are you liking this game so far? I think this game's great. I think it's um good to see you. I think it's just as good as Skyrim, if not better. Like, there's definitely things this game does better than Skyrim, like combat stuff. Um, I haven't... A lot of people said the story in this game is better than Skyrim. I haven't gotten too far into, like, the main story yet, so I don't know if that one... If that's better than Skyrim, but... I mean, all the stories I've done so far, I, I like quite a bit. I like that there's there's some plot twists, you, you know, like right one. a little bit of trickery in this game, which I like. I can't remember if there are a lot of plot twists in Skyrim. I feel like I don't. I feel like there weren't, or if or if there was, they were so like not memorable that I can't remember them. First time tuning in. Have you done the arena? I did a few fights in the arena. Had to had to make my money somehow. Speak. Did a little bit of gambling, did a little bit of fighting. I thought Pathernex was a decent twist. Oh yeah, that that was a surprise for me too. I think that's the only one I could remember. Alright, let's step outside the city. Um, okay, so we're supposed to go east. Wait. Quest marker says this way. Do I have the wrong quest active? No. Whatever. The map says east. I'm going east. I like Pathronax. Me too. He is one of my favorite characters in Skyrim. My number one favorite is Hermaeus Mora, of course. marker fix itself um i like the class customization in oblivion much more than skyrim i like i agree like just for for like the role play element i think it's better in oblivion i do like the whole point system thing too but um i did really like that in skyrim you could use every combat style i mean i guess you can in this game too but I feel like it's not as good. I don't know. I mean, I've been using both melee and magic in this game, and I, I think it is working pretty well. So maybe it is still pretty viable. I must soul trap this crab. A very sad thing for me to do. And this one. Sorry. Fucked up thing to do, but it's gotta it's gotta happen. This game should be game of the year this year. <laughs> you know what? I agree. <laughs> I think I think it's got a chance. I think it's got a good shot. Skyrim combat is good only when modded. I definitely didn't think the Skyrim combat was- What the fuck? Oh my god. I didn't think it was bad, but I, I like the combat way better in this game. Damn, no soul gem large enough. Again. probably the game I remember most from my childhood next to RuneScape. I, I, I've been saying this a lot, but I really wish I got to play this as a kid. I feel like this game would have changed the trajectory of my life if I got to play it as a kid. But I'm happy to play it now also. Not many people like Morrowind, but I enjoy it. I'm really excited to play Morrowind. I've never played it yet, but I, from what I've heard, I think I'm going to like it. Is this a bandit? Who is this guy? Why is he killing a guard? You can't just kill a guard. 
Don't worry, I'll save you. So many guards have saved me in this game. <gasps> Aww. Too heavy. So many guards have saved me, I gotta, gotta save them back. That pay it forward. Honestly, I think for me, the most memorable game from my childhood is probably just Spyro the Dragon. Like the original Spyro the Dragon on PlayStation 1 was pretty much one of the first games I ever um, got like really into. I played other games before that on like PlayStation 1 and stuff, but Spyro was the first one I became super obsessed with. So I, I think that's always gonna be the most memorable to me. Just just because it was my first first time getting really immersed in a game. Really immersed in like obsessed and you know. It was a game for kids, so I was able to understand like the, the story and stuff too. I played um I think before I even played Spyro, I would play like Age of Empires and stuff on the PC, which I really liked. I had fun on Age of Empires, but I didn't know what the fuck was happening. Like I didn't I didn't understand anything about the game itself. I just liked to click on my little little townspeople and <laughs> make them do stuff, make them build farms. Oops, I did the wrong spell. I'm trying to use Soul Trap. Ah, too late. Didn't get to Soul Trap. Oh my god, the skateboarding missions in Spyro were the best! I loved those! Those made me want to learn how to skateboard in real life, but I... I can never figure it out. I didn't have anyone to teach me how to skateboard. I would try and teach myself, and that shit did not work out. I'm getting very distracted by this little, little pond. I'm gonna see if I could charge my weapon with my soul gems I just got. I really need to summon a demon for that crap. <laughs> it was a misclick. It's got too excited about battle. Oh wow, I'm. Ooh, I'm pretty much out of soul gems. Damn, I gotta stock up on soul gems. Wasn't there a chick who was trying to learn a kickflip on Twitch for like two weeks straight? Um, I don't know. Probably, that'd, be, that'd probably be a good thing to stream. Anyone ever play that War Picks game on PS1 or 2? Hmm. Does not ring a bell for me. Have you figured figured out what the Varlo and Welkin stones do? Yeah, I know what the Welkin stone does. Um, I don't know what the Varla stone does yet, but but don't don't tell me. I'm sure we'll figure it out. I haven't really been too too interested in it, I guess, so far. But you know, right now we're going to a Alien Ruin, so maybe we'll learn more. I like the Alien Ruins. I think they're they're really interesting. I just haven't been paying much attention to them the past couple days. So many different different lore things to to focus on. What's up, Salmon? Uh, am I playing with mods? No, I don't have any mods right now. For Oblivion. I wanted a nice clean vanilla playthrough for my first time. I was supposed to download like the patch. Um like the unofficial patch to make the game run a little bit better, but I did not install it. I downloaded it and did not install it. I fucked up. And then I keep forgetting. I keep telling myself, like, oh yeah, after this stream I'll install it. And I forget every single time. But I will say the game runs pretty well. It, I I do crash sometimes, like once every couple hours. But it's really, I don't know. The game launches again so quickly; it's not a big deal. I 
What's up, Shadowin? How are, how are y'all? I'm doing pretty good, Shadowin. How are you doing? You should see the list of bugs and stuff that unofficial patch fixes and you'd install it immediately. Really? I mean, I, I really just haven't had a lot of, a lot of bugs to begin with. I guess I'm, I guess I've been pretty lucky. But I am gonna install it. I am going to, I promise. I just keep forgetting. I just keep forgetting. Any plans on playing the Fallout games? Yeah, I really wanna play them. I was originally, originally planning on playing Fallout New Vegas after Skyrim, but I ended up getting really into Skyrim. Like I got too into Skyrim and now I'm obsessed with the lore. Like the the more like deep lore spanning across the games. So now I wanna play every Elder Scrolls game first. Oh no, Shadowin, I'm so sorry. Uh, Nightbot deleted your message because I thought there's like a missing space between a period, so it thought you're linking like a random ass website. Like, Nightbot's confused. Oh, this is not the place I'm trying to go. I've missed the entrance to the ruins somehow. Um, my car will hopefully be paid off by the end of this week. That's awesome, Shadowin. Congratulations. Oh, this is a door to a ruin. It's just a cave. Skyrim crashes all the time on the Switch. Typical Bethesda on the Switch. <laughs> The fact that the Switch can even run Skyrim is pretty impressive, to be honest. Damn, I'm, I'm low on lockpicks. Ugh, I don't want to waste them. I really want to open this at this point. It's a 13 year old game though. I know, but the Switch is, I don't know. I guess I just don't, I just don't ex expect much from the Switch. I, I don't know. Ooh, we are in a ruin. So pretty. This is a restricted area, I'm afraid. Guild mages only. Oh, I'm a guild mage. Here? Don't tell me Jaro sent you. Nice. Erlov sent you, did he? Figures. He can't be bothered to come check on his own project, so he sends someone who knows nothing about it. And this is supposed to help? Just call me stupid. No offense to you, <laughs> friend. It's not your fault. And perhaps you can help. If you can, can figure help. out how to use the pillar, I'd be thrilled. You're welcome to try your hand at it. I'll do my best. Um, have I played or thought of playing Baldur's Gate 3? I'm 100% gonna play it at some point. Um, I really like this game called Divinity Original Sin 2, which is made by the same people that made Baldur's Gate. And it's like a very similar play style of game. Um, and I fucking love Divinity. So I'm definitely gonna play Baldur's Gate at some point. I don't know if I would stream it. But maybe, like, if people wanted me to, I would. But it's definitely a game I was thinking of playing at one point, just on, like, not on stream necessarily. Hey, Soup107, thank you for the raid. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Dude, I've gotten more raids today than I think any other day ever. <laughs> That's the third one. Thank you so much. I hope you had a really good stream. I'm gonna do a little, a little. Oops, shout out. Soup the hundred hundred and seventh. Uh no worries. I've been doing my first playthrough too. How are you finding it? I'm in love with it. I really, really like this game. I'm I think I like it a little more than Skyrim. 
I think it just plays a little more fluid than Skyrim, like, personally. What about you? What do you think of it? That's what we're calling it, only because we don't know what it really is, or was. It's I'm investigating magical. an alien ruin much. right now for the Enchanted Mage Shield. Somehow. We think it's a lock of some sort, but haven't been able to figure out how it works. All I can say for sure is that it reacts to magic badly most of the time. Several mages were hurt attempting to cast spells at it. Ouch. It's at the bottom of the ruins if you wish to try your luck. Be careful, though. It could be quite hazardous to your health. Best to play it safe. No complex magic. Stick to basic spells with single effects. All it's right. not worth taking unnecessary risks. This is gonna be like my first puzzle in this what game. I haven't really encountered talents. many or any puzzles. I kind of chose the worst day ever to not sleep very much last night. <laughs> I chose the worst day to, to stream while sleep deprived, but that's okay. Um, I've definitely read this book before, Magic from the Sky. Just about the... Oh yeah, I guess I did learn a little bit about the Varla Stones from this book. Um, I don't think I... Oops. I don't think I read this one, The Wild Elves. Did I? Um, oh no, we did, we did read this one. It was just about their the alien kind of culture. Chug the green tea. What I already drank now? it all. I already drank it all. Okay, put a timer on your in-game time so you know where you are. Um I think I'm I'm like around 30 something hours into my playthrough, but I don't know if that's like a super accurate way to judge how far into the game I am. I play what really slow because like I, I read all the books and stuff. I take my sweet, sweet time. Alright, let's go. Explore this ruin. Need a torch. The Argonians and Oblivion have an easy face wise. They don't look so weird because some lizards do look weird IRL, so it just works. That's true. Ah, oh, there's another person here. Be careful in here. Sent you in to try your hand at the thing, have they? Yeah. I don't know how much Skalil told you. We know that it reacts to magic, but every time we've tried, the thing shocks whomever cast the spell. It hasn't been fatal for anyone yet. But we stopped trying after the first few attempts. I can tell you, it really hurts. Yeah, the only I don't thing think we haven't likes figured being out is the markings. You see them on the walls? They must relate to the pillar, but I don't know how. If we had some sort of reference, something to compare them to, we might be able to decipher them. But we lack anything like that. It looks like he's really Skalil happy about something, but can't tell you. <laughs> would be useful, but she's been skulking over the way Erlov's been treating her. Perhaps oh, I'd love to get a book from her. her for this guy's it. got great eyebrows. Let's go ask her for that book. I can't believe she has some kind of cool book and she wasn't even going to tell me. What if there's anything about Vatican you need explained? Let me know. Um, book? I don't know why Dental is even trying. This is doomed to fail. But fine. If he wants it, he can have it. It's just one more thing I'll get blamed for in the end. Oh, man. It's what come. a waste of my talents. <laughs> Some animosity between these guys. Very fucking stressful research project for him. Alright, let's check out this book. Uh, Alien reference. Alright, Alien inscriptions and their translations. Um, K 
Okay, from fire, life, from light, magic. We are where lore is your armor. Wisdom learned by pain is a reliable guide in dark times. Literally, terrible wisdom never betrayed the lore masters. Our exiled elven ancestors heard the welcoming gifts of peace in the streams and beach trees and stars. Um, the caverns of lore, ugly and obscure, shines the gold of truth. The foaming waves so thunderous, so mighty, heralds lore lordly elves. Now we got, got look at the walls. Where's my torch? Go ahead. Tell him I got, you the, got book. the book. Eh? Good for you. I've given up trying to deal with her for now. I'll tell you what. No, don't take, I'll the, take book. the book. And then if you can read me the inscriptions, I'll see if I can find the translations for them. No, I want the book. <laughs> now that I have the book, I can try and translate what's on the walls here. You just read the inscriptions. Hmm. Let me know what they say. I could have fucking this done kind that. Of exciting, don't you think? This is a little exciting. I wish I had the book though. Magica Scylla. What can I do for you? Okay. What do you need translated? It translates directly to Magica Shines. I feel like I could have probably that guessed that. Seem <laughs> Perhaps it makes more sense in context. You should look at look at the others. Okay. okay. This is kind of exciting. Magic Scylla. Avmalog on Yamis. Should I just read all of them and then go for the translation? Avmafre something something. Magicaloria. Okay. It's only four. What do you Okay? Uh, first According one. To this it translates to from fire, life. Fire it is then. Anything else? Mafre seems to translate to frost, so a spell with frost damage should work for it. Anything else? Barely translated it. It means magica shines. I'm taken in context with. The other inscription about magicka darkening, perhaps there's an alternate translation. If we assume it means magicka waxes, then a spell increasing magicka might be what we need. Something that fortifies it, perhaps. Damn, dude's figuring it, it out for me. Magicka darkens. Considering the other inscription, it could be translated to mean magicka wanes, along with magicka waxes. Perhaps a spell that damages Magicka is what you're looking for. Okay. Okay. I want him to give me the book back. This is kind of exciting. I like the translation book. Okay, I don't know if I have spells for this, to be honest. Um. I got fortify health. I don't think I have anything for. Oh, wait. Uh, that's absorb magic. Uh oh. Well, I gotta go. I gotta go get some spells real quick. <laughs> I'll be back here. Well, let's see if she has any spells. If there's anything. Never mind. What a waste of my talent. Alright, so a magic damaging spell and a magic fortifying spell is what I need. I wonder if I can fast travel from here. I don't think I've tried. Oops. I don't even really know where to go to buy spells. I'll go to the Arcane University, but I feel like all their spells are super high level. I don't think I'll be able to use most of them. She's good or too good to be here, but still not able to solve the puzzle. And she's a little, she's a little cocky. A little bit full of herself, I think. Oh, 
must wait till morning. It's all the wizards come out. Hello, Evoker. Hello. E I hope I can. Hmm. I eagerly await your return. How about mixing up some potions? You look like. I guess we'll just go to each one of these little little shops. What can I help you with? Only quality goods for sale. Never mind. That's South me. Oh. Hello. I hope I can. Good day. What? No one's Bye. selling spells? I might just have to go to like a mage guild in another town. Maybe practice rooms. Renald Viernes. I'm the practice room proctor. Yeah. Seeing you. Oh, it's not working. We're gonna just go to a different town to the mage guild where I can buy spells. Let's go to Chaden Hall. Oh, I love this town. I'm Magician Orator of the Mages Guild. How's it already 8 p.m. in game? Okay. No one's gonna sell things till morning. Definitely a top 10 town in Oblivion. Greetings. Yeah, definitely I top 10. Be seeing you. Hello. It's my pleasure. Please. Let's do business. Okay. This guy's got some stuff. Um. Okay, nothing that I need though. Not helpful. Bye. Where's everyone else? I'm Magician or Only quality goods for sale here. What can I interest you in? Hmm. Farewell. I don't think this one... I know all the towns Mage's Guild specialize in certain things. I don't remember which one specializes in... in what... The spell I need. It's my pleasure. Take okay. care. I guess not this town. A visitor. It's my. Take care. How do you? Do that? Um. Do mages not sell spells or something? Uh, I mean, like, certain ones spell sell certain spells. Let's try skin grad. I have a good feeling about skin grad. What's up, Eric? Do I have a favorite town or city at the moment? Yeah, I think it's... Well, it's between... Chaden Hall and Leowin. I don't know. I don't know which one I like the most between Hello. them. I feel like every town in this game has has like a charm to it, except for Bruma. Well, I don't really but... like Bruma. I think Bruma has interesting quests. I have a quest in Bruma right now that the the Count gave me that I think is really Greetings interesting, and I want to do it. What's new with you? But the town I itself, I don't really like. Perhaps not long ago, annoying. Oh man, I gotta wait till morning again. Room is cold and cozy. <laughs> Isn't the fact that it's cold like, that does that make it not cozy? Here's mad the guards kept catching you steal. That's yeah, that's another thing that sucks about Bruma. That it's really hard to steal. <laughs> Everyone's watching all the time. Let's go Leowin. Not the castle. 
It makes you want to get by a fireplace with a good book, exactly. That's fair. I guess that's fair. You know, maybe I just spent so much time in cold towns in Skyrim that, you know, being in another cold town in this game, like, it's, it's just too much cold. Need more summery, summery places. Where's the dang mage's guild? I'm an anvil kind of guy. I really like anvil. Anvil is cool. Anvil would have been my favorite city, I think, if if Chadenhall and Leowind didn't exist. I do. I actually really like Skingrad also. Just it's got a charm to it. I don't know. I think Skingrad was the first town that I spent like a lot of time in, ex like other than the Imperial city. So I think that's a big reason why I like um, Skingrad so much. Everyone's talking about oh, here's everyone. It's my pleasure. Let's do business. Superior soul trap. All right. I'd love to have. I assure you. The... Nice to meet you. Oh, very my bad luck with all these spells. May all your travels be safe. I hope I can help. Goodbye. Can't help me unless you sell me a spell. <laughs> Where's everyone else? There's no way this is everyone in the Mages Guild. You know, maybe I should go... There's like a cheap spell shop in the Imperial City and the guy in the ruin did say not to use any super fancy spells. Maybe, maybe I'm, I'm like, I'm searching way too deep. Like I should just go to a regular ass spell store. Also, where the fuck is everyone? This place is very strangely empty. I guess, I guess we did kill one of the members in this particular guild. <laughs> Yeah, this place has more doors than people, exactly. Say your piece. This place is low on members, you. though. There are... Oblivion NPC dialogue, buying discount spells, sounds like a bad idea. I remember hearing that NPC. You know, initially I agreed with them, but I feel like it could have been a misdirection. Maybe it's a great idea and they're just... I don't know. They don't want a lot of people knowing magic. Oh, it's dark here. Oh man, my eyes are tired. Didn't want to backseat in the moment, but you don't need to actually learn the spells. Edgar Vautrine. You don't hmm. want Have a look around. You won't find better prices in all Tamriel. I don't know how I would do it otherwise. I mean, I oh, got it. Fortify magic. And... What was the other one? I think drain destruction kind of makes sense, maybe. I have. Take care. All right. Oops. Why oh, you could fast travel anywhere? I was I was thinking in my head just now. Like, is it actually gonna let me fast travel right back here? It does. I was thinking it would only be to major cities. It fast travel everywhere. Drain luck sounds opposite of a discount spell. Hit the casino with that bad boy. True. 
Just drain the luck what on the. Want? If there's anything. What do you call them? Just on the house. This place has been nothing but trouble as far as I'm concerned. Since we disposed of the creatures that had taken up residence here, it's been nothing but a fight to figure out how the place works. I should the talk to the creatures and say kill them. For more than a week now, not. What a waste of my talents. <laughs> She's so negative. Alright, where's where's my buddy? What can I do for you? Uh, it's very dark in here. Now that I have the book. Okay. Um According to this, it translates to It's a fire Mafre. Frost. It means magica shines. Taken in context. If we assume it means Increased magic Increase magic and then it means magic. Decrease Perhaps magic. a spell that damages. Okay. Okay. This is kind of exciting, don't you think? Oh, what the fuck? Well. <laughs> oh. I, I now see what you meant. <laughs> I'm not needing the spells. Well, this is still, you know. I got the spells. It's good to have them, I guess. <laughs> oh, I see how... I think it's gotta be on these things. Okay, so... What do you Man, my, I'm so sleepy. Okay. My brain's not remembering things. According to this okay, so first one fire, second one frost. Okay. This is kind of exciting. Maybe it's not on this. Maybe it's just on this. Oh, okay. Um, a frost. I feel like it should go on this. Um, forget the yeah. order. It means magica shines. If we assume it means magica waxes, then a spell increasing magica might be what we. Okay, so that one is increased okay. magic. This is kind of exciting. Don't you? Um. Okay. Oh my god. So sorry. I already forgot. <laughs> my brain is what? not working. Okay. <laughs> Magical warrior. Means... Cause that one's decreased. That one's decreased. Okay. This is kind of exciting. Okay. This is the only one I didn't get a spell for, so I do actually have to use the scroll. I don't have any sort of magic decrease spell. Um. That's fortify magic. Hey, well, at this point, we could just crawl in there. It doesn't even matter to do the last one, but I will just do it. I got my own spell for this one. Fortify magic. Did not work. Okay, let's try the scroll. I've solved the puzzle. Why, well, I really can't believe these guys have been here for Be for careful. weeks or something. They said. Well, would you look at that? <laughs> would you look at that? Someone will need to see where this goes. I think you should go. You've done all the hard work, after all. I think we should all if go together. If there are any personally. discoveries to be made, you should be the one to make them. You deserve that much. <laughs> this guy sounds a little bit nervous and scared. Be I think. Careful. Watch your step. Let's go talk to the other lady. She's gonna be so fucking hype. Or upset. I could see her being upset that I figured it out because she's got a big ego. 
What do you want now? Have I you didn't. found anything interesting in the ruins? You made it work. That's fantastic. Not only can I tell Erlaf we're back on track, but I can happily say we did it without his help. Hell there yeah. There must be something down there worth locking up. Would you mind taking a look as long as you're here? If Isn't I this what she's been waiting for? something worthwhile, Erlaf may forget all about our delays. I mean, I'm I'm honored, I guess, to go take what a look. What a waste of my time. <laughs> It's like the perfect opportunity for her to showcase her talents, and she's kind of backing out at the last second. <sighs> Be careful. Shit, it's a ghost with a sword. And he knows how to open doors. Can he open two doors? Oh shit. I think he regrets this. I can't even tell if I'm doing damage on him. Okay, yeah. Oh, he, <laughs> he changed his mind. He went through the door. <gasps> Ow. Dramatic death. Damn, yeah, he is tanky. Maybe my sword just not repaired. Eh. That's a cool sword. Too heavy, though. Well, I really want to explore, explore these ruins, but I'm like really sleep deprived. So I think I should probably save the game and call it here. Oh, I'm more hours in this game than I thought. Oops. Well, I'll have to call it early today because I'm very, very sleepy. I wanna, I wanna make sure my brain is, you know, ready to intake all the lore. So I will rest. But um, I will be live tomorrow. I think this next week I will be taking Tuesday and Friday off. So I'll be here tomorrow. We'll continue exploring. I won't be horribly sleep deprived. We'll see some cool stuff. Learn some cool lore. I'll finally read all the books and games I wanted to read today, but couldn't. Anji, because of Skyrim video. Gotta say 11 out of 10. <laughs> hey, thank you for watching my Skyrim video. I, I really like that Skyrim video. I think it's one of the better videos on my channel. Yeah, if you guys haven't seen it, you should watch my Skyrim video. That's a that's a link. It's a it's a nice edited down version of my first time ever playing Skyrim. It's pretty. It's very silly, to be honest. It was a very silly time, but it was it was fun. But um, that's my Skyrim video. Uh, this is a link to my VOD channel. Also, if anyone wants to catch up on the Oblivion playthrough, um, and yeah. I will see you guys very soon. I hope you have a good rest of your day. Sorry the stream was kind of shorter today. I did not think being sleep deprived would make my brain shut down as much as it has. Um. Yep, yeah, I'll see you guys soon. I'm gonna host Caitlin Witcher. She's playing, playing Lego Star Wars. Let's go. Great game. I actually have played Lego Star Wars. Not too much, but a little bit. I played. Okay, everyone go say hi to Caitlin. I'll see you guys tomorrow.